Okay, we're just waiting for distort. This, this, oh God, I is this like the second time in a row I said distort, <laughs> Discord. Just waiting for that to go off, and then we'll go ahead and get started. Also, my microphone feels like it's off. Huh? My microphone feels like it's crooked, but it's not. Has it always been crooked? I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Did Discord go off? There it is. Good, good, good. All right. Anyways, hello and welcome everybody to Milk Outside of Bag of Milk Outside of Bag of Milk Outside of Bag God. Oh, I was repeating it earlier. <laughs> I don't know. It's just like one of those you could just, you know, just, just understand. You just understand it. Just understand it very well. So today we're playing Milk Outside of Bag of Milk, sequel to the last one that we played. Um... Apparently this one is also short, but not as short as the last one, so we'll see if it will take an entire stream to beat, or maybe another one. We know how these games usually go for me. <laughs> I get distracted. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be playing that, but real quick, real quick, real quick. Background check, and it is this. Yeah, the day before, it was actually like, there was, there was a... Like a snowy hill and then there was a bunch of rocks just all around but to now it's surfing i <laughs> maybe it's 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 for the whole idea of of you know it's an ocean of milk it's not exactly you know water but of milk also wait hold on what is this what is this back here also hello hello <laughs> what is this do you understand do you know what that is martlet do you know what that is i don't know what that is what is this what is that? What actually is that? Is that is that the beach? I think that's a beach. Or a peach. It could be a peach. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Anyways. Welcome everybody. Reminder that tomorrow's stream is going to be the chatting stream for next No. <laughs> it's going to be the chatting stream for this month. I god, I sorry, my brain is all over the place right now. Um so it'll be some good times just sitting down, talking, chatting, all the good stuff. We'll be doing that in the next stream. So that'll be on Saturday. If you have any questions whatsoever stream wise or anything for me, then I would recommend uh going to that stream and asking them there. But or if you just want to chill, then that'll be on Saturday. So some good times, some good times. But today though, we're going through insanity. Although I feel like we're going through that all the time anyways. <laughs> Then we open up the game. Hello, Saturday Jinx. Hello, Killer is here. Hello, Grapefruit Gobbler. Waka, waka, waka. You don't. Oh, yeah. Also, everybody. Everybody got their glass of milk. Everybody. Got... I should have got a milk PNG and put it next to me. I might still be able to do that. No. Just imagine I have milk. Martlet's holding my milk, okay? Martlet is milk for the moment. <laughs> Marlet is milk, okay? Everybody have their 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 cup of milk, stocking milk, anything to do with milk. Delicious. Can birds drink milk? Well, this one can. <laughs> Whether it's good for her or not is not my concern. <laughs> uh yeah, yeah, if you're not drinking milk, you cannot not be playing this. You have to drink the milk, expired or not. <laughs> I was actually worried when I was pouring it. I was like, is this milk expired? Because it was a little, like, it was a bit comfy at first, but it was just, it had froze a little bit. So there was a bit of ice in it. So I was like, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm not going to die today, stream. <laughs> All right, the game opened up. Let's go ahead and switch on over. PMKM2. We'll screen this. Is it capturing it? Are you capturing my game or are you deciding not to capture my game today? I believe you have chosen that one. <laughs> uh, hold on. Capture my game. Capture it. Why are you? Okay, there we go. God, you're just refusing to. All right, there we go. There we go. Also... We need to hear this game. Alrighty, here we go. Train of thought outside our train of thought outside. <laughs> uh, Alright, English. This game contains flashing images and touches on heavy topics. Take care. Warning, everybody. Deals with heavy topics, so pay attention to that.
Oh, I... what? <laughs> what? Uh, 45, 46, 47, 50. The store is closing soon. Is happening. I'm confused. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. So is this like hello? Can I? Is this from like the previous game? Is it recapping those events? Also, the game is very loud, but I also don't want to touch anything right now. Why are we getting an anime intro? I wasn't expecting this. It won't take much time. What do you see? Ooh, I like the music. Are you sure? What? Anyways, it's... God. Oh God! Oh God! <laughs> what the heck just happened? Well, welcome to Milk Outside a Bag of Milk Outside a Bag of Milk. I need to turn on the volume just a little tiny bit. We'll see how that is, because usually when we actually get into the game, it, the volume's not that loud, but... Wow! Okay, what an upgrade from the previous game. Um... Alright! <laughs> This is gonna be interesting. I'm sad this gonna have the, the jank old English. I know it won't drive me too insane. Just you know, just the right amount of insane. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're literally just picking up right. Okay, I'm glad I actually played this very soon. Then. <laughs> Hello, Arson. Welcome. All right. Ooh. All right. I'm, I'm excited for this. Uh, milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag of milk. So I guess we'll pick up from the events that ended last time. So those were the the events last time. Well, cool. We're seeing it like from an outside perspective. The game still sounds very loud. Why are you such a loud game? Well, if I would stop muting it accidentally. Let me know how the volume is to you guys. If it's too loud or not, I don't know. God, my, my microphone is being an absolute pain in the butt to me today. I don't know why. Does it feel like it's right? Maybe I'm going crazy. <laughs> I'm walking to my room, trying not to look around. Where did my mouse go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was like, it disappeared. What happened? Playful shadows dance around me here and there. They dash all over the walls, the ceiling. One of those shadows whizzes past me, touching my face ever so slightly. I smile and continue walking, paying into mind. I need to put my glasses on. My vision's pretty bad today. Hold on. Let me put these things on. There we go. These things are dirty. They're fine. <laughs> they still work. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. What are those shadows? Was this past me touching my god? I need to wear my glasses more often. <laughs> touching my face ever so slightly. I smile and continue walking, paying it no mind. Sometimes it's so easy to lose self control and track of time, spinning in a joyful dance. But I'm in a bit of a hurry here. Mom told me to go to bed. Hmm. Three hours train walking to the store and <laughs> I walk past the kitchen and on the way to my room, the door is shut, but I can still feel the chilling air coming from the other side. My first thought is that there's a living corpse blowing into the keyhole, laughing mockingly. <laughs> So silly, I'm absolutely sure we have no corpses in our kitchen. I know for sure that we've never had any corpses in our kitchen. <laughs> oh yeah, you know, never seen a corpse or none at all. I'm absolutely sure that. I'm 
break into a run and dash toward the closed door. Shadows intensify their chaotic dance. Are they trying to stop me or calm me down? I don't know. Doesn't matter right now. Don't you get it? I wave my hands around as I run, trying to chase away my annoying pursuers, but then I suddenly realize that I won't be able to stop in time. I got no other choice but to break the door now. If there's somebody inside, I'll surely scare them to death, but wait. How can I scare to death someone who's already dead? What if it actually revives them? No, 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 no. I don't want that. What do I do? I couldn't fully complete my thought when my shoulder hit the door and it flew open. Sheesh. As I expected, there was no living corpse inside, but there was a bag of milk I bought today. Sitting right in the middle of the table, watching me with its unblinking eyes, I stare back. Nothing happens. Although, what exactly did I expect? Gratitude? Have I done something that warranted it? A bag of milk probably doesn't care whether it's on the shelf in a store or on the table in my mom's kitchen. On the other hand, nobody would drink milk inside the store, which means I took it from the safest place in the world and into the scary unknown. I'm so sorry, you poor thing. <laughs> I'm so sorry, my cup of milk. I'm so delicious. <laughs> Okay. I turn away in shame and leave the room in a hurry. I only bring others to other trouble. I walk toward my room through a narrow corridor. Corridor? Corridor? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Hello there. Oh. Oh. Also, can we talk about the music in this sequel? I love it. I love it. Corridor. <laughs> Yes, a corridor. We all deal with those. Sorry, I just wanted to make sure I wasn't blocking the dialogue pieces. God, I love this music. Oh, shoot. Did I not read that? I don't know what it said, but I'm going to hope it said something about seeing a familiar figure outside. I, just, Oh, God, I don't know what that said. Is there a log? <laughs> I'm not struggling. I know it's useless. I just stay silent and endure its tight grip that stops me from moving. After sniffing me from head to toe, the creature holds out its ugly paws, bearing a single claw, thin and sharp like a blade. Isn't that mom? Again? I stare questioningly into the monster's bottomless eye socket. Don't move. Isn't that mom? The creature squeezes my hands until my veins start bulging and I just keep- ugh. I just keep staring into the black cavities where its eyes should be, ignoring all pain. I promised so many times. Stay put. Um, since that, its claws pierce my arm. I don't feel anything other than the barely discernible crawling under my skin. Oh. You don't know. I do not like. So I don't mind shots, but I do not like when you have to have an IV blood drawn or anything. I don't like the idea of something being in my body that, you know, well, shouldn't be. <laughs> Like a needle, and oh, this is exactly talking about that. And the ring of tightly sprung sinews, but then, then the claw injects its venom into me. It hurts. A white veil appears in front of my eyes. My fingers cramp and start twitching frantically. I lose control over my body and slowly slide to the floor, just like last time. But why? Why do I feel so hot? I feel my blood boiling up, strong shivers run through my body, paralyzing every single cell, while my veins and arteries heat up, almost bursting from the pressure. I s try screaming, but instead of producing words, I vomit thick, milky foam. The creature notices it and throws itself at me in anger, grabbing me by the throat while keeping the poisonous claw inside my arm. Kill me, kill me! Hysterical screams resound the corridor in a fit of madness, the creature starts scratching my neck. Bright splashes fly everywhere, hitting the walls with a loud sound. I try to imprint where every drop fell in my memory, so I could gather them all later. I need to remember. I need... A new wave of pain washes over me. Everything turns pitch black in an instant. God! Jeez! <laughs> Say it. I'll never drink milk ever again. Alright, I won't drink, I'm just gonna take a sip of my milk, and then how about that? 
Ah, delicious. <laughs> what the heck is happening? I say it. I'll never drink milk ever again. Say it again. Okay. I'll never drink milk ever again. Slip some milk. Mmm, delicious. I'll never drink milk ever again. I miss the simple days. Oh, I know I'm. <laughs> it's scary. What? Oh, <laughs> I miss it too. Oh, those good old days. All right, cool. Oh look. Oh, I guess no. <laughs> I finally get to my room. I'm so tired of all this fuss. Thankfully, I still feel comfy and warm in my room. Even the weird sounds coming from the outside don't make me anxious at all. God. Lactose intolerance simulator. <laughs> oh, God. Sheesh. Sheesh. What, a, what, a, what an intro to a stream. I haven't even been a half an hour yet. <laughs> oh, okay. I finally get somewhere. Okay, uh, that makes me anxious at all. Mom told me to go to bed, so I need to perform all the needed preparations. I wash my face, and now I'm standing in front of the mirror with a toothbrush in my mouth. I look at my reflection. It shows absolutely no desire to sleep. Yeah, I get how you feel. And there was a time when the last minutes before I sleep were my favorite time of the day. I loved anticipating the. What was that? For those of you that have headphones, and are wearing headphones from this game, or earbuds, whatever it is, did anybody else hear something out of their left ear? <laughs> um... As much as I would usually say it's not a good idea to wear headphones with my channel, since I tend to scream, even though I do have the noise gate, it still can sometimes get through. I would recommend wearing headphones for this game, because, uh... That was creepy! <laughs> that was <really> creepy! <laughs> Sorry, I dropped a can! <laughs> Dang it! I thought I got you out of there! <laughs> Uh, hello, Juan. Welcome. Okay, so far, how far has this gone? Already insanity. <laughs> That's terrifying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Literally, just. All right, cool. Also, once again, I do want to say that this game does deal with some heavy topics and has flashing lights as well. So, do uh, be aware of that while watching the stream for this game. So, yeah. Um, it's just made never a moment with- okay. Never a moment when the reality and the dream world were clash. I woke up for that moment's sake, lived through the day for it. My biggest dream was to sleep all day long. It would have been so cool, but the dreams always slowly but surely slipped away. As if somebody fished them out of my head, one after another, one after another. Until nothing was left, and now I have to sleep again, even though I don't feel any need for it. Like lactose and <laughs> Oh lord, welcome. <laughs> Ooh. After finishing with my face, I usually reach out for my pills. It's funny, but I have no idea how they work separately. Since I always swallow them as a bunch. Without thinking. Now I want to have a better look at it. To twirl it between my fingers. To chew on it. It's in the background. I do anything. Don't chew on them. Don't chew on them. I just realized what you said. Don't chew on them, please. God, that's disgusting. That's gross. Do anything to stall for just a little bit more time. A smooth, protruded red capsule is looking at me. It's covered in a murky, semi-transparent film, but I can still discern its contents. So what do we have inside you? I gently press on the capsule from both sides. To my surprise, it turns out to be soft and squishy. I press harder and the capsule pops. Sticky, bright red liquid pours out. Filthy, filthy. The pill flies straight to the waistband and I start rigorously washing my hands. No, there's no way I'm drinking that. Next was a flat pill on the same blood red color. 
the same blood red color. There was some letters printed on it. Oh, I get it. This is the medicine that makes me really sleepy, but it's not the type of sleep I want. That's not it at all. It's fake. No, no, no. I don't even want to look at it. The pill flies into the waste bin as well. The next half an hour goes by in a similar fashion. I study every pill from all sides, and then I find a reason not to swallow it. I invent my own medicine instead, and enjoy swallowing them one after another, letting myself drown into their healing effects. <laughs> hmm. Um. Hmm. <laughs> That's already a concerning uh, sentence. <laughs> Hey, my mech did, my my mech my my mech. Why are you <laughs> my neck doesn't hurt anymore? Oh god, that's right. Oh, hey, my hand doesn't hurt anymore. My hand. Oh, hey, my head doesn't hurt anymore. Oh, hey, my heart doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my stomach doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my eyes don't hurt anymore. The complications of when you get old! Everything hurts! <laughs> How come I didn't think of this earlier? This is so simple. I need to brag about it to someone right away. But not to my mom. She'll just scold me. And she's sure I'm already sleeping anyway. I don't want to disturb her without reason. I'll think of something else. Besides, I just really want some small talk. I wonder who's going to be my conversation partner. Hey. Hey? Hey. 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 <laughs> I was literally pressing everything on the keyboard. Hey. Hey. I'm trying to say hey. <laughs> It was the mouse. I needed the mouse. Okay, let's see now. <laughs> hey! I think you mean- Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, you're- Oh! I was just enjoying some milk that apparently you're not allowed to drink. <laughs> uh, hi? Hey, long time no see. Hasn't even been an hour, dummy. You know, we're only supposed to meet once per day, right? We are? Why does your voice sound so grim? Does it? <laughs> so what's happening outside? There's an oh, that's a- Oh, it hurts, actually! <laughs> Actually, I've read the manual, judging by the pictures, the overdose side effects, or the usual headaches, dizziness, and exhaustion. Oh. Basically, nothing I can't handle by myself. After all, now I know how to do it. Ah. He didn't reply. Aren't you even a little bit happy? Not even the slightest bit? Pretty exhausted after today. Well, I guess you are too. I was pretty exhausted after that stream. <laughs> That's not true. You need to go to bed. No, you've been in control for way too long already. It's my turn now, all right? Just so stay silent until the medicine's effects wear off. How about that? Hey, you can't do that. You need to do your best to make me feel better. That's exactly what I'm doing. What a bully. Actually, why am I even worried about this? Also, I didn't have to type a name in this time. In reality, I don't need you at all. Hmm? You're so energetic and I feel great, which means I can do anything. And you, you can only watch and agonize over your uselessness. Uh, okay. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> appreciate it. <laughs> I can imagine how angry you are right now. Made you so happy all of a sudden? Yeah, I'm all beside myself. What did make you happy all of a sudden? And why would I be sad? Cause you were sad earlier? 
remember yourself a couple of hours ago? How about you don't bring that up? <laughs> Is there an option for not bringing that up? Ah, uh, you know what? You deserve it for calling me useless! <laughs> I just spit everywhere. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Where's the oh dialogue? <laughs> Going back to your funny boy. Oh, don't worry, that's coming. She deserves it now. <laughs> I feel bad for at first, and then it's no, no. Feeling bad is over. <laughs> Remember yourself a couple of hours ago? I don't know what you mean. Useless Makoto? No! Uh. I guess this time you're the voice that succeeded, so you don't need more names. Uh, I guess so. But then I should have. Mm, I missed my names. Unless, I don't know. Maybe we'll see. Maybe we'll see what she, what she ends up saying. At the side effects of them talking. I don't know what you mean. Oh, they're all just stop lying. I, like, always left, but they're going top to down. So, left in my eyes, if I were to turn it, but which way am I turning it? At a 90? Or am I changing it a negative? <laughs> I don't know why I'm making this more complicated than I need to. Bye! <laughs> I'm gonna say this one. True top is the left of the Virgo plan. Alright, cool. We were all in the same same light wavelength there. Good, 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 good. Also, God, my glasses are so dirty. <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> no, oh, I still don't understand. Whatever, unlike you, I won't forget that pathetic snotty girl for a long time. She just whines and whines all the time. God! <laughs> Don't even try ruining my mood. I have to have fun while we're together. I want to have fun while we're together, alright? So you're the one calling the shots now? Yeah. Well, let's see how long you can last. We'll see. Yeah. I... Am I really that pathetic? Say something. I can feel tears streaming down my cheeks, hanging from my chin, and then falling on my clothes, burning holes in them. That was fast, but not unexpected. God, I'm so mean. Yeah, at least I tried. We'll wash your face, and we'll decide what to do with you. God. I am the worst. I deserve pain. I'm in front of a mirror again. I keep staring at my reflection, trying not to get distracted by the sneery looks in the walls are giving me, trying not to drown in their giggling. But then me in the mirror also starts, also shows me a creepy smile, bares her teeth at me. Does she? <laughs> Does she? She looks pretty normal to me. Although I do see the O in the back. Does anybody see that? Do you see that in the background there? Hmm. But that doesn't help. It wouldn't have helped even if I saw- I mean, I guess the mean dialogue is, I guess, meant to be there because we are basically her thoughts in a way, so her thoughts are probably most of the negative most of the time. But oh! <laughs> I wish I could just have that dialogue! <laughs> Please, game, give it to me! I shut my eyes, but it doesn't help. It wouldn't have helped even if I sunk through the floor. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Start so counting in my head two squared two by two squared a square squared a square pyramid squared as pyramidal structure cubed a pyramidal structure hyper cubed. I feel better. But my head is splitting apart now. <laughs> oh, there you go. I would be rude. It's not your fault. It's never your fault. Fine, you can keep on blaming yourself, but don't overdo it. I don't know why, but I thought I'd be able to take control. I was almost ready to. I was sure I'd be able to change something after all. I was able to buy milk, you know? Yeah. You ought to know how challenging it was. Is that why you threw away the medicine? What a stupid decision, right? I don't know. 
don't know if this medicine is actually good or not. I would assume yes, but then at the same time, I'm not too sure. <laughs> Whatever it was, it was a decision. Does it even matter? What do you think? You can't be sure about anything, and you don't take me seriously anyway. Then why did you do that? I felt like I'd be able to fight it on my own. It's true, the pain subsided for a bit at the time, but now I feel it triple in force. It hurts so bad. I know what to do. Dejected, I reach out for the shelf with my medicine. I swallow the pills one after another, chasing away the unpleasant visions that keep floating up in my memory. Take your meds, that's right, everybody take- I took my medicine earlier, so did you guys take your medicines? Anything you need to take, make sure you take it. I also slurp some milk, even though we were told not to. We can, she just can't. <laughs> milk only for us. And yet my mind still draws a terrifying picture, a lumps of coagulated Blood and transparent coating traveled down my esophagus, scratching its soft walls, leaving behind furrows. Sorry, I just like had a stretch. It's like, me. <laughs> Good night, grapefruit cobbler. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I shake my head violently. I don't care if it makes me feel dizzy or worsens my pain. I just don't want to think about something so repulsive. Still hasn't changed. What do you mean? You're afraid of being alone. This worries you much more than pain. Yeah, I guess. I toss the last pill into the air and catch it with my mouth. Is that supposed to kind of show, like, how long she's been taking this medicine? I lie on the floor. I look at the ceiling. I can clearly hear water running in the metal pipes up there. I hear the cracking of concrete blocks that will someday surely fall on my head. But I'm not afraid of that at all. I can't imagine my death coming from above. Rather, it's rearing its claws from somewhere below, waiting for me to lose focus. Sheesh. Is that a pentagram? <laughs> is that a pentagram? <laughs> hey, you're actually right. I think it is. <laughs> Do you want to talk about it? No, I've had enough talking. Alright. <laughs> Alright, cool. I'll, I'll go away now. Bye! <laughs> what do you want then? I just want to lie down for a bit. No, I as silence. We'll give the silence. We'll give the silence. Oh, surprise. Oh yeah, I think this one hundred percent schizophrenia, isn't it? Is there a door slightly open? I carefully extract thoughts that are yet to be fully formed from my head and lay them out on the ceiling in orderly rows. Now it's my corkboard. In hopes of seeing the whole picture, I switch them from one place to another, pile them on top of each other, scatter them around. In the end, I throw them off with my hands, hand annoyed and start over. Can't do it. Could always imagine your thoughts as something small and swarming, like cockroaches. You guys are roaches, and you thought swarming in my head. The voice is from the boy. <laughs> Ew, I ate cockroaches. Can I make them fireflies? No, 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 no. <laughs> no mind either way. I do mind, excuse you. We'll just imagine them as roaches instead. All crawling around. I don't even have the time to blink before my thoughts. There are fireflies now. There are roaches now. Excuse you. Finally realizing we were never real that she is schizophrenic. Oh, God. <laughs> Imagine. 
Imagine this entire time I've been imagining this the whole streaming thing and everything and this whole routine and everybody's just been kind of going along for it to try to help me. This is how they would help me, but in reality, I'm just actually losing my mind. And every single time I say take my medications because I always need a reminder to take the medications, but I've always just. Yeah! <laughs> what actually is, but hmm. They're fireflies now, the roaches now, start whirling all around the ceiling of their own accord, forming whimsical patterns. <laughs> I was like, did I take too long, game? I can only observe them and wait for the right moment. It's just, that moment doesn't come. The mocking sounds of flapping wings coming from the ceiling make me start losing my patience. Enough! I hate you! Alright, fine. I hate you too, then. How about that? Huh? I hate you! You hate me? We hate each other? We're one happy family! <laughs> right? That's what it means! <laughs> I spring to my feet and scream at the top of my lungs. The roaches scatter. Good job! Let's start over. No way. Unstable behavior makes you look bad. I don't give a damn. So that doesn't bother you? Should it? What did I say? Unstable behavior... Doesn't look good on you? What did I... Oh my god, I have completely... <laughs> I forgot our conversation. It makes you look bad. Okay, so it is. Okay, okay. Uh, I said... Does it bother you? She says, should it? Um... I mean, for the sake of you getting better, yes, because you seem to be living a very miserable life so far, so yes. And what do you want me to do then? I don't know, it's up to you. <laughs> You're at it again. What do you mean? Never mind. I've changed my mind anyway. Please don't stay silent for this long anymore. I'm having a hard time without your help. Fine. I raise my eyes to look at the ceiling once more. Sadly, all my roaches seem to be hiding somewhere. Just like roaches! <laughs> I need to find them. What about them go to bed? No, you don't get it. If I'm thinking about something, I need to finish my thoughts or else... Lots around the room. There are too many places for a creature as small as a roach to hide here. They can be anywhere. Suddenly I hear a deafening rumble. The clock just hit midnight. So late already. But I can't go back to bed right now. Will you help me? Please? Tell me you'll help me. Come on, stop fooling me. You promised to talk to me. What were you thinking while lying on the floor? What do you mean? You should know it better than anyone else. Sing, I have no idea. This is weird. Will you tell me? I. <laughs> oh! 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 What is that? Oh, <laughs> what is that? Oh God. Reminder again, this game deals with some heavy topics, okay? I roll my sleeves and start rubbing my eyes intensely. They are so itchy. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? My eyes are itchy. Did you drink? Did he bring milk? What? Did he bring milk? I wonder if I tear out all my eyelashes one after another, will my eyes stop itching? No, 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 I wonder if I tear out all my eyelashes one after another, all my eyelashes one after another. If I tear out all my eyelashes one after another. What have you done? I need to gather the glass and then, then I need to have a bath and then. Here, drink some milk. No! I died and felt something. Oh. Are these backgrounds randomly created? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? 
What do you mean? Then I doubt. Did I do something? What was that achievement for? I need to go back and read these achievements and see like how I got each of them. Like what made the difference? Was it just progressing to certain parts of the story, or is it because of certain dialogue pieces? I don't know. Was it my fault? Did I do something? It's fine. <laughs> just not definitely losing my mind. Sat in the middle of the room, my mouth agape, gasping for air. I think I just experienced death. I don't know any other way to explain what happened. Well, that was surely something. Will you tell me or not? About what? Let's look for the roaches instead. You're acting weird. Only instead of running your mouth, I've already had enough adventure before bed. I need to gather my thoughts quickly and go to bed. And my thoughts are hiding from me. <laughs> to be honest, I have no idea where to look for them. Me neither. I guess we'll have to share the whole place apart. No, 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 no. If I make even the smallest messes here, I'll feel really bad. This looks like my room already. <laughs> I hate, I hate to say it. I mean, except the plants. I cannot have a plant for the life of me because those things die instantly. Unless it's plastic. But, God, oh God that looks like my room. Oh. <laughs> Oh, the mess! The mess everywhere! Oh! Oh! I'm looking around at mine! All the things should stay in their places, and that's it. Why? I'm trying to come up with a reason right now? You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. I don't, and I won't. Alrighty then. So, we need to find a bunch of tiny insects inside a mountain of junk without moving anything. Even an inch? Yeah. My oh my. I had an idea. Last time, becoming a visual novel character helped me achieve my goal. Now I want to become a point and click adventure game character. You know, those games have moments when you just look at different objects and something inevitable happens. It sounds so fun. And what about the things you use regularly? Do you refuse to touch them as well? It would make it even more interesting. This is so childish. And want to know what's the best part? You'll be the one doing it. Oh no. Oh yes! <laughs> I start panicking as soon as I get in multiple choice situations. I'll just keep changing my mind and end up crying and running away. Do you want that to happen? You're such a handful. You've already proven that you're able to make decisions. Why not continue on that road? Come on, don't be so boring. I was just teasing you. You don't have to bear the whole burden. Asking for help is a reasonable decision too. Let's begin already. I go to the middle of the room and look around where... Would I hide if I were a tiny firefly? Ah, this is so thrilling. My heart gets warmer from the pleasant anticipation. Hey, what? Look down. I look down after a moment and a small bag of light and warmth crawls out from under my sweater. Wowie! There's smoke coming from your gloves! <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> ah, yes, it's on fire! Point and click lo logic. <laughs> She looked and talks like you too. Um, just no, wait, no. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> People like Fonta wouldn't write something like this in this game for the cat to dive into madness. <laughs> oh, God. I carefully grab the roach. It's pleasantly scorching to the touch. I put it on my shoulder. I'm sorry, little guy. Time to come home now. As if it was an order, the roach slowly drifts up, circles around my head for a bit, and then flies into my ear with the speed of a bullet. <laughs> it tickles. One down, so for the others. Yeah. Background keeps changing, right? Or is it just me? I actually don't know. Oh, I'm actually looking now. Oh, okay. Um, And here. What are those? Ah, those? Those are the photos of my best memories. But they're blank. I stared at them so intensely that I burned them with my eyes. <laughs> now they're just covering the cracks in the walls. Cracks? Forget it. Are we continuing the search or what? Okay, we are. Huh. I look up toward a very high place under my ceiling. I can hear a countless number of small legs marching inside the AC unit. Oh, well. What happened? Bro just can't be friends with fireflies. We'd better look somewhere else. Why would fireflies be there? Have you forgotten? You're the one who told me to think of my thoughts as fireflies. 
God, this is confusing for my brain. Yes, but they became roaches afterwards, but fireflies don't disappear just like that. So they occupied this place. Do you understand now? Don't pretend I do. <laughs> uh, what's this? I'll turn that off. <laughs> Silly, nope. No, I'm good. Sounds like a horror movie. Or I like silence. <laughs> I like the eeriness of the void. <laughs> What's so funny about that? Imagine myself being a roach that is looking straight at a giant fan, and I'd be so jealous. The only thing preventing it from flying is the cage it's locked in and the cable. It's like an inmate, you know. You think about if you think about it. It's so sad. Yeah. Continue searching. Okay. What else can I click on? This. Look down. My school bag, worn down and silly, is almost screaming of its own uselessness. From another angle, it looks like a full belly. Its contents are also regurgitating, decomposing, and turning into a sticky, mushy substance. Great! What a cool image. I need to remember this. Um, I Where's the totally cool option? <laughs> totally not cool. Tell me what's inside your bag instead. Nothing special, mostly just all sorts of books. I'm taking out all the pens and notebooks out of there, and I'm not interested in anything else. You used to go to school, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I had a blast all the way. Are you sure you understood my question? Do you think everything in my life should be doom and gloom? Well, you're wrong. Alright, alright. What did you like the most there? Hmm. Well, the rooms were really bright and not like at home. That's it. Don't rush me. Let me remember. Well, the beds were also soft and the food was nice. By the way, I attended all the classes. The others always skipped. Probably got told off so hard. I smiled gently, absorbed in warm memories. You never graduated, though. Yeah. Do you remember your last day there? It was a normal day. Dad picked me up earlier than usual. He told me that I'm already too old for the school curriculum. I also realized that some time ago, the tasks were way too easy. Then we got into the car and went home. Mom greeted us there. We had dinner and went to our rooms. What happened then? I don't remember. Does it even matter? Is your memory that bad? Please. Oh, fine. That day, Dad picked me up from school earlier, explaining to me that I need to grow up. It's not like I could completely grasp what he meant. Either way, I didn't resist. We got into the car and went home. Mom greeted us there. We had dinner together and went to our separate rooms. Satisfied? Dad dragged me out of the school building while I was scratching and biting. The teachers didn't interfere. That scene was ordinary for them. Who knows what the little brat has done. I don't know if you guys have started noticing, but... Every time I keep telling her to remember the events again, the story keeps changing. And I don't know if it keep, it's starting to reveal the truth of what happened. Then he pushed me into the car and we drove home in complete silence. Mom greeted us there, we had dinner together, and went to our separate rooms. Please, let's not discuss this further. No, you'll tell me again. Dad bought milk on our way home. Again. I hate milk so much. Mom was not home. Again. I hate mom so much. What happened next? Suddenly I feel someone's eyes on my back. Knowing that these moments should never be ignored, I turn around. But there's nothing there. What happened next? Try figuring this one out. Everything that happened next happened after something that led to everything that happened after what had happened. 
I look at my bag again, light pouring into the room through the window's glint on the metal parts, and there's also a shadow underneath it, which means it's real. Sadly. Whatever, I don't care anyway. I almost end up kicking the bag in a fit of sudden anger, but I manage to stop myself in the nick of time. If I move it even an inch, the whole picture will collapse and I'll go blind. It has already happened countless times. What do you mean you'll go blind? I spend months memorizing the location of every item in my room. That's why I can see them so clearly and vividly. You won't get it. Look at your feet. I look down and see that a small insect is crawling towards me from my bag. It's barely glowing and it can't even fly. I guess this firefly... Sorry, roach. <laughs> it's really tired. I bend down to pick it up. The roach starts glowing brightly and as soon as I touch it, and then flies up. There you go, boy. Good job. After doing a victory lap around the room, it flies towards me with high speed. I shut my eyes, anticipating the roach to enter my ear. Ah! Ow! What the heck was that? Was that just my ears, or was that in the game? Oh! There was like a high-pitched... Like a ringing sound. Oh, I don't know if that was just me. Oh! <laughs> Ow, that hurt! That's exactly what happens. After it gets inside, it buzzes for a little while and then goes silent. But this one is kind of sad. I wonder why. It doesn't matter. What matters is that it's no longer alone. Sure, let's continue searching. Will you that was me? Okay, God, that hurt my ears. Are you serious? What's wrong? Just think about it. Why would roaches be attracted to light? I think they're quite self-sufficient already in that regard. Well, only if they purposely want to lower their self-esteem. Hmm. Alright. Thanks. Nope. I like silence. <laughs> uh, nope. I'm good. Mm -hmm. Ooh, a book. This is my sketchbook. Half of its pages are blank, which means it'll still be good for a couple of years. You draw that rarely? Why? Isn't that obvious? If I run out of pages, I'll have to buy a new sketchbook. If I can't get to the stationery store on foot, I'll have to take the bus. Do you even realize what kind of nightmare that can turn into? Or you can ask your mom to buy you one. Buy what? Ask whom? Can you even form coherent sentences? What? Don't play dumb. Ask your mom to buy you a notebook instead. Instead? So you want me to perform a string of actions, but you're also telling me to do one instead of another? Then how would I decide which action to take? You're so dyslexic. <laughs> you're a tough case! <laughs> yeah, I actually- I'm like, okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I don't know. I- it's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> hey, you're a tough case. Like empathy. Is that my fault? I get close to the sketchbook, stepping over the wires, the sleeping bag, the cracks in the laminate, and the window's reflection. The sketchbook is lying on the stool from my height. It seems like the stool is missing two legs. I squat and look again. All the legs are in place. Will I be able to think of an interesting allegory? Oh, let's not go there, okay? <laughs> I stand up and study the sketchbook from inches away. Pages are pure white. The last drawing is buried on the previous page, the way it should be. Too bad. Love to see it. Maybe next time. Then a gust of chilly wind breaks into the room and makes the pages rustle. Oh no. I shut my eyes. A distinctive sound of pages turning echoes with a headache in my head. I know what's going to happen. The rustling has stopped, even though the wind is still howling from every direction. It can only mean one thing. The notebook is open on the first page. If I wait a little longer, the wind will close it. I won't have to look if I wait a little longer. If I wait... No, it's okay, just do it. No way, I know you're lying. Calm down. No, calm down. No, calm down. No, calm down. No, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Fine. I open my eyes with utmost caution. The notebook is still open in the middle. There are drawings. Nothing. The pages are still pure white. Did I imagine it? I don't know. Did you? You're the smart one here. You tell me. Next time, don't close your eyes. What did you do? I couldn't finish speaking because the pages started moving again. Don't close your eyes. Don't make me do it. I'm scared. Trust me. The rustling grows louder. The pages lift up. I can almost see the outlines of drawings on previous pages. No way. Everything that is in the past should stay in the past. You couldn't convince me. That's it. I'm closing my eyes. Look, look, there. A barely visible light seeps through the pages. With every new gust, it becomes brighter and brighter. A roach? 
The wind immediately stops for a moment. The world sinks into perfect silence, but only for a moment. The buzz that has always been haunting me fills the surroundings, but it doesn't matter now. Goodness gracious, little boy. You made me so scared. What's in her drawings? Ooh. I am scared about what's in her drawings. <laughs> You're right, drink some milk. I actually need to refill my milk. I didn't get so much this time. Uh, the firefly blinks, flies... Uh, I'm sorry. The roach blinks, flies up in and enters my ear, buzzing loudly all the way. It spends some time looking for the perfect spot in my head, but then it's buzzing dies down. Phew. You okay? We're running short on time, so let's continue searching. Okay. Uh, what's that? Not easy to get out of here. <laughs> okay. This is my sleeping bag. It's soft and warm. I'm sure that no living creature would be able to resist the temptation to spend a minute or two inside. They want to dig deep into it with a couple of favorite items close to their eyes, and then... Hey, did you fall asleep? Huh? I gently sought my cheeks to return myself to senses. It's already way past midnight. Usually I'd be asleep like a log at this time. Right now I can't. Continue searching. Hey, maybe we'll find something inside. Now my thoughts don't have a feature of putting to sleep. Quite the contrary. They always cause insomnia, just like tonight. What? <laughs> I said searching here is meaningless. Okay. The umbrella emanates a faint sense of sense sense, sense of coolness. No wonder it's the only thing that defends me against the thunder clouds that gather under my ceiling. Such a blessing that I can do it without my help. <laughs> it's like I can see from the rain. Does not have the umbrella up, just has it nearby. <laughs> so a roach wouldn't hide in a place like that. It will catch a cold and be unable to fly. You don't want to check it out. Bye. I'm sure we won't find anything there. All right, fine. Um. Oh. Oh, is that milk? Is that milk? I doubt it. All of the compartments are locked. What if? I don't even want to think about what's inside. Who knows what I'll, I'll end up imagining. I look at my laptop, I've touched it for years. So it's covered with a layer of dust as thick as my finger. What is with the music? Why? Bizarre item, I fear it. Why? It's a long and boring story. Wonderful, tell me about it. Mm, I insist. I don't remember how it appeared in my room. One of my parents probably brought it in here because they couldn't find a better place for it. They didn't prohibit me from using it. On the other hand, they encouraged me to do so. Sure, I spend my whole days in front of the screen. Games, drawing, engineering, calculator, 3D, modeling. So you're a smart one. So much stuff fun to do. You had amusing hobbies. Yeah, I did before entering the web. Hmm? Imagine this, you're a hamster that lives underground. You have everything for comfortable living. Could you imagine? As always, your analogies are spot on. Okay, I imagined. All right, so you're a hamster that lives underground. You have everything for comfortable living, okay? Okay. Wonderful, and here's the situation. You're a hamster that lives... Okay, I got it. Do you want to talk about something else? Yeah. I'll end up returning to that subject anyway. On one wonderful day, someone digs you up from your hamster house and brings you to the pet store. Now your new home is a cage. It's way more comfortable and warm compared to the underground. And the most important part, you have a lot of neighbors here. Their cages are identical to yours, and the other hamsters look identical to you too. That means you're all the same, apart from the fact that they were born at that shop. You'll ask, what does that indicate? And I'll tell you, nothing at all. I forgot what I was talking about. Gosh. Okay, let's start over. This time, try to avoid stupid hamster analogies. You know, I'm not at fault here. So, I had a lot of friends online, tens, hundreds of them, it's impossible to count. Is it impossible though? I had exactly 317 of them. Although, I guess nobody counts the exact number of hamsters when they walk into a pet shop. Hey, don't get distracted. 
Oh, right. For my 317 friends, 68 were into gaming, just like me. 130 of them like drawing, just like me. The remaining 119 were into calculators and 3D modeling equally. And when I say equally, I don't mean 59 and a half friends on each side. Alright. You can split numbers evenly, no problem, but math doesn't work like that when it comes to friends. A major conundrum, right? Get to the point. I knew, of course, that no real people exist on the web. I also understood that all of my friends die the moment I turn off my laptop, but I still wasn't even a bit worried. Why? Do you know what computer programs consist of? It's just a combination of numbers. Which means my friends are also numbers. Isn't that amusing? Not really. Why do you call them your friends? I mean, everyone who shares my interests is my friend, and I don't care whether they know about my existence or not. Anyways, as I was saying... <laughs> God! Every program has its own algorithm and purpose, its mathematical formula. And if you saw that formula, you'd be able to predict the program's behavior at any moment. I understand, like, what this game is trying to do, like, having to deal with somebody like this. It's, like, it's so infuriating. I don't like roundabout stories and things. It's, like, just get to the point! And it's getting to me! <laughs> I will say! It is getting to me! I get what you're saying! Just get to the point! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> if you solve that for me, you'll be able to predict the program behavior at any moment. The longer you speak, the less I follow. <laughs> I'm following! <laughs> Just getting annoyed! Sorry! You don't need to follow me around. Just listen. I sit on the floor and the laptop screen ends up right in front of me. The only thing reflected in it is my dim face. The web person is just a random picture and a random string of letters. Words and actions from the web person are just executable code. Hey, let me know if you need a break. One day, someone appeared from that point on. My laptop was always on. There are no real people on the web, but he was good at pretending. At some moment, I let him trick me. Hey, look. Huh? Suddenly, a uh, cockroach slowly crawls out of the laptop's vent grill. I reach for it and it gets on top of my palm, blinking all the while. I think it's trying to say something. I can sense that myself, if only I knew what. It looks like a cipher. Don't you want to crack it? Change my mind. I have absolutely no desire to find out what it wants to say. The roach stops glowing for a moment after that, and then it starts glowing again as if coming back to its senses. For some reason, for some time, it thinks about the further course of action, then flies up and dashes into my ear. Let's continue searching. And what about your story? Must be mad at me for interrupting you, I'm sorry. If you do everything right, I'll finish my story. Maybe. You promise? Promise. And if you forget? Then remind me with the code word. For example... Please forget it, because I won't. Okay, guys, remember this, okay? Remember this. For example, what code word? I'll think of one later. And for now, let's keep searching for my roaches. Guys, remember, remember. Also, I'm gonna go grab some more milk, so I'll be right back. Hold on. I need more milk. We need to have this. We need to have this fitting. Hold on, hold on. We'll be right back. Grab some milk, everyone.
I have spilled milk all over myself. <laughs> I went to refill and I was like, all right, delicious. And then I spilled milk everywhere. <laughs> no! I almost succeeded but failed. Oh, all right, great. That's fine. I'm just gonna have very milkiness, but that's okay. She is right in the real stream ends. We no longer exist to her or anyone else. <laughs> God. Oh. Uh. Poor lady, the game's sticking your head a little. <laughs> I'm ready to cry. The milk has spilled. No. <laughs> I get close to the waste bin and look inside it with curiosity. Pill packaging, notebook pages, and other garbage boring. Something here, indeed. No self-respecting roach would hide in a heap of garbage. Can't disagree with you there. Okay, so that wants me to finish searching, but I'm not ready yet. I look at the alarm clock. Time continues in a stoppable flow. God, the music! Stop it! Stop! It's so late. Are you tired? You bet I am. I let out a theatric yawn and hold out my arms to the side. One, two. When I raise them above my head, three, four. Maybe a little workout will help me freshen up. Good idea. Do you remember the exercises you've been taught? I think so. I take a hesitant stance. What was it? Heels together, toes apart. Whatever, I'll go with that. Count down five minutes. Fine, you have a clock right in front of you though. I can't look at its hands for too long. At first, I feel like, why is the music? Why? Silence, please. At first, I feel like they start moving in the wrong direction and then they disappear altogether. And then things always get messy. Last time I saw a pair of eyes on the clock's face. And also, I used to hear voices back in the day. They pleaded for help, I think. What a mess, truly a mess. It was a mess, right? A mess. Well, are you counting down? My God, finally. What do you mean? I was trying to get through to you for half an hour. Oh my god, have I? Huh? Forget it. Do you see the roach? N no. I'll continue searching then. Oh. Really? Had it been for like half an hour? Sheesh. Nope. Silence. <laughs> nope. Hell that's right. You're right. I forgot about that. I forgot that's what the medicine does. Right. Insects enjoy pollinating the flowers and stuff like that. Mm, yeah, I guess. I get close to the flower shelf, I sniff around. The leaves smell of dust and cardboard and death. You know those plants are long dead, right? Not sure a dead plant will be able to attract any insects. Okay, it's dead. <laughs> Surprise it hasn't just, you know, fallen to the ground from death. Now oh, what a world. God. Also, hello, welcome, Aris. I'm Juan, I don't know if I said that before, but hello, welcome! Well, we kind of don't have a choice here, you know? Still, you're right. Let's continue searching. Why don't you just throw them out? Aren't you listening to me at all? Hmm. I tilt my head backwards and almost fall over. The closet is hanging out of the ceiling. At least 300 feet off the floor. Um. <laughs> uh. Are you joking? Even though it's my room, not everything here is for me to use. Whatever. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care at all. Like, totally. And I'm definitely not worried. Not even the littlest bit. Not even a smidgen of the littlest bit. Not even for a thousand of a percent that's much more I don't care. Hey, I'm not even done telling you how much I don't care. From this moment on, I'm ignoring you. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Then act normal. The original notebook pages glued to the wall with duct tape. Numbers are drawn on them. It's the only kind of information I can take in without trouble. Dosage and side effects? Yeah. I thought you knew them by heart. Yeah. This is not your handwriting, isn't it? Of course it's not. Shaky, broken lines, ugly numbers. It's not writing, it's more like claw marks. Don't forget to thank your mom. I don't need your advice. My scream makes the pages rustle re restlessly. After a moment, ooh, a roach appears from underneath one of them. After looking around in a business-like manner, it takes off into the business 
like flight and ends up entering my business like ear. Hey, let's continue searching. Ooh, you know what I'm gonna touch and you're not gonna like it. Oh, you're not letting me touch it. Oh, you touched the pills though. I look at the amount of pills and it makes me dizzy. I don't want to think about it. I don't. What's wrong? I almost skipped my dose for today. How reckless. I could have died. Hey, calm down. You already fixed that. Yes, because you ordered me to. Things could have been much worse. Yeah. I heave a deep sigh, come closer, and extend my hand. Wow, it's warm. The moment those words leave my lips, one of the bottles overturn. Pills rain down from it and along with them. Ooh! A uh, roach! Hooray! After circling above my head a couple of times, it finally lands in my palm. The roach rushes up my arm and upon reaching my shoulder, crawls straight into my ear, my mind becoming a bit clearer. Uh, I guess that's everything, right? Why won't you let me touch this? <laughs> Come on! We got some milk. We need some milk. We need all the milk. Delicious. Okay. He found all the roaches. Amazing. I guess. Alright, fine. She is putting the tsundere out. She is! How dare she! Managed to gather my thoughts, but something still worries me. On the other hand, I wasn't supposed to be happy anyway. Why not? If I lose something and then find it, it's just going back to the starting point. No changes at all. A zero sum. And happiness is always about being positive, right? You shouldn't think too much. It hurts you. I want to sleep. How about you get some fresh air before sleeping? What do you mean? Well, go to the balcony, breathe in some air. Somehow those words triggered a panic attack in me. I subconsciously step away from the balcony. I don't think it's a good idea. Why? It may sound silly, but I feel like someone is watching me. Okay. Yeah. What are you going to do? It's with a silly question. I'm going to sleep, of course. Hoping that tomorrow will only come after a year or a decade. Imagining myself to be outside of my mortal shell, but at the same time still being me. Ridiculous, like milk outside a bag of milk. And yet, and yet, you don't have to talk out loud for me to understand that you're worried about me. I know that already. I also know that our time is running short. You won't take another pill? Of course not. In fact, I won't take it tomorrow either. And the day after tomorrow. And never ever. That's a goodbye then. No. I have one more small favor to ask. A really small one. What is it? Flirted out way too much today. A lot of stuff I'd want to forget forever. I don't blame you, but was it really necessary? We'll see you tomorrow. No, I won't be able to sleep like this. Fine. What's the favor? I, um, nervously scratch my wrist and bite on my lower lip. Wait a minute. You're afraid to tell me? Yes. I'm also scared that something bad might happen if I tell you. I'm also scared that when something bad happens, something way worse will happen. Stop. I get it already. Still, so, I won't leave you alone until you tell me. Holy. No, you. <laughs> oh, what is it? God, when I saw my mouth appear, I thought it was blood, and I was like, what happened? <laughs> I crawl into my sleeping bag. The lower part of the room is very cold. I, I hurry to wrap myself in blankets, even though the electric heater is working hard to keep me warm. Sad because the dreams just won't come anymore. You won't believe me if I tell you how I dealt with it at first. Of course I'll believe you. I know it was a joke. I know, it was a joke. Well, anyway, I wash my face, brush my teeth, lie down, and stare at imagining what I'm watching that I'm watching a dream. I didn't sleep at all, of course, and I always looked sleepy in the morning. After a week of insomnia, I started feeling weird and seeing things. Letters flowing in the air, strange silhouettes that appeared in the most unexpected of places, bulging eyes with trembling pale pupils. It was scary, you know? Then one day I almost died. I just collapsed in the middle of the room and couldn't move for a while. And then silhouettes, letters, and eyes were hanging over me and hissing. 
It was horrible. And well deserved, I guess. It felt like I was caught on the biggest lie in the world. Yes, it felt exactly like that. After that, I stopped. But the silhouettes, letters, and eyes stayed here. I guess they liked this place. They always follow in my wake, peeping at me, and I'm kind of scared of them and can't even argue with them. But today, today, well, I still too scared to tell me. Of course, they're still listening, you know. Use your hands. All right. I start chaotically twirling my fingers with enthusiasm, forming complex shapes. You want me to tell you a bedtime story? Shh. I was trying so hard here. Don't you get it? They'll hear you. Relax, nobody can hear you. So what do you say? Be happy to, but I have no idea how to tell them. Oh, it's incredibly easy. Just talk about something without stopping. Sounds silly, but it's not. And meaningless. <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. I know enough to realize that we'll just end up wasting time. Let's focus on something actually important. Boring. Fine. Close your eyes. Huh. You won't get it. You're not even trying. What did I do? I wake up on a wooden bench. In front of me lies a narrow, dimly lit alley. Al al alley 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 al al ah. <laughs> an awful familiar road. Where could I have seen it? Finally. Oh, I hear a voice coming from the side. I turn around and see a boy with a weird expression on his face. You're late. Um, who are you? The boy. The bo bo boy blinks in bewilderment. We're not going anywhere like this. Try again. Then he takes a very deep breath. You are late. I stare at him confused. He stares back also confused. Sorry? Persona 3? Right? <laughs> Persona 3? What? The boy nods, satisfied. See? Much better. Do you have a name? My name's Tresca. I give the brat an evaluating look. He's so young, yet already coming at me with questions like that. None of your business. Besides, will anyone tell me what I'm doing here? Hey, that's rude. It's not like there's somebody else here besides me. Haven't they told you anything? I know all there is to know for one. No, about what? You're obligated to escort me to the store. What? Tresca says that and strikes a victory pose. No way I'm doing that. You do understand that refusal is futile. Well, aren't you full of yourself? I'm serious. I'm not the one who decided that. Do you think I'm delighted with your company? He's weird, constantly shifting between happiness, sadness, loudness, silence. He's a wacko, and his name is stupid. <laughs> oh, gosh. Are we going or what? You can go, and I need to think. I'd be happy to, but I don't know the way. Tresca puts on a cunning smile. I bite my lower lip in frustration. To be honest with you, I don't like you. Simply burst out laughing in reply. I do like you, though. And he grabs my hand without hesitation. I don't even have time to retort. Lead the way! What is happening? What is happening? What is happening? Our trip to the store went fine, if not for the fact that Tresca was walking way faster than me. And on the other hand, at times he stopped abruptly and went backwards, studying the ground underneath his feet. In the end, the trip took a lot longer than it should. After reaching the store's doors, we are greeted by a sign. We're closing in 20 minutes. That's a bright idea to indicate their working hours in this way. Probably have special staff for this, someone who runs the change sign every five minutes. It's convenient. Are you joking? Yeah. You're so annoying. And it's better than being boring. How old are you, by the way? None of your business. And what's your name? None of your business. I was ready to slap the living hell of the rat when a scary looking man suddenly appeared behind the glass. He's holding a cardboard sign that says we're closing in 15 minutes. Let's go. What are you waiting for? Huh? Oh, yeah. During another round of going across the long row of canned products, we realize that we're lost. Can't believe we don't know where they sell milk. I, um, maybe we should ask somebody for directions? Sure. Hey, wait up. Tresco lets go of my hand and walk confidently towards one of the view store's customers. 
That person is standing with their back to us, setting something on the shelf. Hello, can I? I can't hear neither the second part of his question nor the reply he gets. But my good, my good for nothing friend freezes in place, looking the customer straight in the eye. I hurry towards them. <gasps> is it? Is he yours? The customer talks to me. He speaks with disgust while wearing a scornful expression. I, um, if he's yours, please get him away from me. E yes, I'm sorry. I grab Tresca's hand and lead him away. He's still looking at the customer, his mouth ajar and eyes popped. He's also shaking. Okay. All right, well, bye, Arsis. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you, thank you. Only when we turn around the corner, Tresca calms down. What was that? I, I got so scared. He said, what? No, not again. Suddenly, Tresca starts screaming like crazy. I cover his mouth with my hand. His face is burning. He's crying. Can you act normal? You don't understand. Of course I don't. I don't understand anything. Annoying other people is still wrong, though this is something you don't understand, it seems. You're mean. Well, this kind of seems like my relationship with her, right? Who, me? Tresca pushes me away and runs off. Right. At the edge of my vision, I see the store staff hanging a new sign on the door. There you are. Let me check out the cash register. Before that, I managed to visit the milk department after finding out where it was. Hey, you, move! I hear an angry voice calling from the other side of a long queue that has formed after Tresca. I squeeze through towards him. What happened? The boy doesn't respond, he just looks at his feet and sniffs the cashier towers over him. There's a bag of milk lying between them. Is he yours? Yes. Just leave him home next time. People in the queue nod in agreement. Pay for the goods, please. Yes, of course. And the waiting fee. What? You heard me. I did, but that's unheard of. Tresca starts giggling all of a sudden. And for the fact that your son... Hmm. But, but... You heard me. You know what? In a fit of rage, I throw a bank note to the cashier of much higher value than needed, even counting in all the stupid fees, then grab a bag of milk and turn around on my heels. We're leaving, Tresca. We spend the whole trip back in silence. At some point, we end up turning right toward a gas station. There, Tresca finally breaks the silence. Do you like ice cream? No. Okay. Of the boy's face, a light flickers in his eyes for a brief moment and then goes out. You know, turns away from the path and walks straight towards the highway with determination. I stare at his back, confused. Oh my god, that pose! I swear I have seen that pose before. I want to say, oh my god, I'm thinking of a certain anime that has that exact same pose. I want to say Madoka Magica has that pose. I'm, there might be another anime, I'm sure, probably it's all the poses, but God! Yeah, in yeah, the sentence, I was about to, yeah, I was about to say, usually that pose is when you're getting told something not good, and... <laughs> oh, shoot! Oh, you're in Rodriguez, welcome! <laughs> Seems like you're not helping me at all. A new playful light flickers in Tresca's eyes. Wait a second! <laughs> no!
No. No. It just feel like we barely got start. No, we just got. No, we just got started. No, no, I ref. No. I think I got a Triska as Milk Chan's father, but the roles are reversed. Oh yeah, because she did say that they he went to go buy a bag of milk, right? There are other endings. There are. Okay, okay. I was about to say. I was like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, I have to click new game. Okay, real quick, I want to see what the achievements were. Like, Mil Chang in the first game, they spoke of him as Mil Chang's child. Maybe? Maybe the voice inside her head is actually, like, her imagining her father or something? Alright, what achievements did I just get? Because I got interesting ones. So, good night. You won't get it. Like, how do I? Is there a way I can see like how I got these achievements? I don't know. I don't usually mess with. I don't think so. It doesn't say. Apparently, I only have five out of ten though. So there's definitely probably more to these endings. But interesting. Okay. Alright, so... I don't... Let's just click new game. I can't click continue. I don't even know there's like a save area. You can skip through a lot of the opening and make a hard save first for the first meaningful choice. I don't know... <laughs> See, I didn't even really like notice any meaningful choices. How do you save? Is it the escape? Let me just click it real quick so I can see. I don't know what the save button is. <laughs> I can't just hold the space bar. I was hoping I could. I do like this music though. I do have to say it really sets the- this beginning part really sets the whole idea. balcony because you chose not to go. That's the thing. I have no idea. This is weird. It's the first time that changes things. Okay. Alright. Does anybody know what the save button is? Because <laughs> I have no idea. Alright. That's the sound that I heard. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, that was interesting. That is, that was really interesting so far. Okay. Um, which one did you say? That's the thing. I have no idea. This is weird. It's the first one that changes everything. There you go, Holy Megan. Or she wouldn't slide it happen under the slightest bit. I need to go to bed. Okay. So. Don't exactly what I'm doing. Anybody's worried about. Hmm. What made you so happy? Okay, I'm all excited by the way. Empathetic. Oh my god! Jeez! Don't even try ruining my mood. I wanna have fun when we're together, right? So you're the one calling the shots. Let's see how these go. Go wash your face. Okay. Try escape when the make choices. Can I try to skate right now? No. How do you feel? You're mocking me, right? I'm obligated to ask you this at least a couple times per session. A session, huh? You don't like that word? I'm fine. No, you're not. I I don't know why, but I thought I'd be able to take control. I was almost ready to. Okay. So that's the same. Should be working. 
There we go. Save game. Oh, I can't save also. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> okay. Uh, what do you think? Why'd you do it? No, don't abandon me. Dejected, I reach out. Okay. So I have a change. So I think she says that line when she's lying down, right? And she's thinking of things, but I can't understand what she's saying. Is it? I thought it was. Oh, when we first see the fly. Yeah, it's when she gets up from lying down, which is right here. She'll imagine the whole stuff for a minute and then we can go. Ah! <laughs> it's like it's bound to collapse. It won't be today. Can you stay silent, please? I need to get my thoughts in order. Just popped my arm right now. I don't know if you could hear it through the microphone. <laughs> Ah, these old creaky joints. Okay. Just let her talk for a long time. Now, so I think you mean the roach bit. I think you mean the roach bit. Okay, so right when I'm given, good job, don't start over. So the behavior makes it look bad, so that doesn't bother you. Should it? Okay, so I'll save right here. Okay. What happens if they say no? A lot of people act like this. Really? So like shameful about snapping at someone if you have a reason for that. You did have a reason, didn't you? Surely get better, believe me, and I'll start over. <laughs> You're at it again. What do you mean? Never mind. I changed my mind, so please don't say silent for this long anymore. I'm having a hard time without your help. Fine. Guns around the room. Definitely. Will you help me? Please tell me you'll help me. Was it this part? Right. Right. Okay. So, do I make a different choice here? See, I don't even know what I did to get the other ending. If I'm gonna be honest, I really don't know what I did. Also, hello, welcome, Fox tonight. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Also, good luck with your time traveling. <laughs> Into the dialogue I mentioned, save. This is the time to choose to say something. Okay, you picked two here. Okay. Thank you. See, this is why you guys are here. You guys help out with the voices in my head that actually. Oh my god, it's just like this game. <laughs> oh, that's so. That's so, so, so very weird. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so stay silent. So I ask you silly questions, help me find my fireflies. To be honest, I have no idea where to look for them. Guess we'll have to tear the whole place apart. No, 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 okay. So far, the same thing is so far. Are you trying to come up with a reason right now? You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. So, just by picking this option, you created that strangulation. Oh, did I? Oh, interesting. I'm trying to remember what I picked. Are you trying to come up with a reason that you don't have to tell me? Uh, okay. Who, me? No, of course not. I think you can forget to put up your mind block. I can see right through you. Rude. Alright then, so we need to find a bunch of tiny insects inside a mountain of junk without moving anything. So, should I? I probably should be very aggressive, right? Just continuously aggressive is what I'm assuming. So we need to find a bunch of tiny insects inside a mountain jump without even moving. Yeah, my oh my. I have an idea. Last time, okay. This is so childish. We have the one doing it. Oh no, yes, start panicking. That it happened, you're such a handful. You're already proven. 
So, I know I chose this last time, but I said we're just gonna keep being aggressive, maybe? So you need to follow things closely. When looking for the fireflies, once again, ask about her laptop and get her to promise she will tell you later. Oh, is there a guide for this? Is there- a, hold on, let me see if I can pull up a, a guide or something. Uh... I think I found one, let's see. on the road to now. Okay, okay, I think I see something. I think I see, I think I see something. Alright, so we'll go from the order of these. I'm gonna assume I got the first one, because I just see something with the shop, so... I'm gonna assume that's the one we've already done. Okay, so... Okay, I need to... Oh, interesting, okay. Already proven your are making decisions. <laughs> You're so boring, I'm just teasing you. You don't have to bear the whole burden asking for help is reasonable, don't you? Okay, so... Pause on to some... Hey, what? Look down. Wowie. Okay, so apparently I need to get a phone. Let's just- I'm going in the order of- I found here. It's a steam guide. Somebody did. So we'll see. I carefully grab the firefly, it pleasantly scorching to the touch. I put it on my shoulder. I'm sorry, little guy. Time to come home now. Okay. So looks like it seems like down. Let's- One down. Let's look for the others. Yeah. Is that different? feels different. Alright, so I have to grab a phone? A phone. Looking at ending four? Ah, oh, I see. I'm trying to do... Uh, we might be on the same guide here. I'm trying to do ending two. I'm just gonna go through the Normal one sister here real quick. It says collect phone. Phone. <laughs> phone, you say? Where the heck is there a phone? <laughs> In here, maybe? I doubt it. All the coins are locked. What if... Very small pixel on the bottom right. Oh my god, that is so tiny! How the heck? And also, thank you, but also... That is so tiny! <laughs> What's this? <laughs> like, this is so tiny! Wait. So... What does that do? What do I do now? <laughs> okay. What am I? What? What am I? What do I? What? What do I just? What? <laughs> What do I do now? Um, do I just go to the game like normal? You can just speed run, get three fireflies, and stop looking and go go to the bucket. Okay. Oh, I think there was one here. Okay. Is it me you're laughing at? I'm not going along with this nonsense anymore. Got it. Got it. Hey, this is on purpose this time. Tell me what's inside your bag. You should go to school. Right, that it. She never graduated. Do you remember? Uh, what happened then? Okay, good. 
good. I look at my bag again, like pouring into. Okay. If I move it an inch, I'll go blind countless times. You need to blind. Okay. Get your feet. Okay. So I got another one. Um, the other one was here. Why? You gotta need some hobbies. Okay, I imagined. Okay, okay. Fine. Suddenly a firefly. He's trying to say something. It looks like a cipher. Do you want to crack it? Okay, so that's one there. I think there's one in the pills too. Can you calm down. You already fixed that. Uh, accusation. Well, that's reasonable. Okay. Fit is searching. All right, cool. Okay, so we did it. I managed to gather my thoughts, but something still worries me. On the other hand, I wasn't supposed to be happy anyway. Why not? If I lose something and then find it, just go to the starting point. Okay, and happiness is about being positive. Being too much hurts. I want to sleep. I want to get some fresh air. What do you mean? Go to. Why? I know I'm not ready. Also, the start time is running short. You want to take another pill? Never ever. It's goodbye then. A really small one. What is it? Blurt it out. We'll see you tomorrow. No, I won't go to sleep like this. Fine, what's the fire? Scratch my wrist. Wait a minute. You're afraid to tell me? Yes. I'm also afraid that something bad might happen if I tell you. That happens, something way worse will happen. Stop it already. So I will leave you alone until you tell me fully. No, you. Okay. So this should be different now, right? I'm gonna guess, maybe, here, maybe, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I crawl into my sleeping bag, the lower part of the room. You won't believe me if I tell you how to deal with it first. First, I'll believe you, it's a joke. I started feeling weird, letters, one day were hanging, it was horrible and deserved, I guess. This is felt exactly like that. After that, I stopped. They always follow my way, keeping, but today, today, well, I still scared to sell me. Of course, they're still listening, you know. Use your hands. All right. Relax, nobody can hear you. So what do you say? Tell them. Sounds silly and meaningless. I know enough to just. Uh, so we're gonna find it boring. Fine. Close your eyes. Okay. So this should be different, right? Let's see. Are we friends? That's what friendships like. Hello there. Hello, thank you for choosing our pizzeria. What am I doing? You know this place is so empty, though I don't feel particularly good or bad because of it. I'm all alone, but at the same time, it feels like I'm not. There's a lot of thoughts in my head. They always keep me entertained. I can create a whole world with them. I'm sure it'll be able to fill the void around me if I try hard enough. Ooh! <laughs> I... God, this I don't think that this game hits a little too close to home sometimes. Ooh. Ooh. Although, no matter how much I think, my surroundings don't change. Yes, things happen in my head, but they never left its premises. And it's not like I tried to suppress them. Maybe they were afraid to come out. What kind of pizza would you like to order? Anyway, there's some space in my head that could be put to good use. So every thought would make a senseless and merciless circle in my head destined to go back to where it started. But there should be an end somewhere. You can't wander around forever. What do you think? I know it sounds scary, but it's not scarier than constantly existing among the void. This place is safe, and nothing bad will happen here. Nothing good will happen either, though. Please note that we have a special offer right now. Three pizzas for the price of two. Yeah, there's probably nothing good in having the same thoughts over and over. What's the point of having them anyway? 
I could have escaped from here, but I feel like my thoughts aren't helping me at all. They should be ashamed, probably. It's nobody's fault that I can't even see a door here. I would have had it easier with one. I tried to find it. It turned out to be a waste of time. Is she running on the road? No matter where I look, it's not looking good. Pun not intended. And that stri strips me of the last bit of hope for salvation. We also have a discount program for new customers. You can learn more about it on your account page. Don't you think that me being here is also a waste of time? What's the point in that? I can just keep on thinking and even then my thoughts are as meaningless and empty as everything else. You know, I just kind of just realized now, if this is actually, um, calling her Mukchan. If this is actually her. What's interesting is that in the beginning cutscene of basically like the thing from the previous game, the whole events of that, and then also the last ending that we got with going to the store again and all that, it's weird. I just noticed that her clothing is like completely different. Or like this kind of like her clothing now like kind of seems more like a casual, just normal clothing that you would see, whereas the other one is like nicer more complex and like fancier i guess you could say too and almost like something you'd find in like a video game movie or something like that i wonder if there's a point to that doesn't mean that i'm not filling the void but am a part of it and why should i feel anything why should i know what i that exists although i'm not even sure about that this place is always neither warm nor cold. It's neutral. Natural. Neutral? Natural? But at the same time, if I think about warmth, I feel warm. Maybe this world corresponds to my thoughts? I wouldn't want to admit that I'm completely empty. I'm not the reason everything had disappeared, right? Can I just adapt and get used to having nothing around me since I can't do anything about it? Are you ready to make your order? Yes, that's right. I shouldn't care. It's empty here, and it makes me feel neither good nor bad. I'm all alone, but at the same time, it feels like I'm not. God! <laughs> that is some creepy sounds! There are a lot of thoughts in my head. Martin, why are you making those sounds? There are a lot of thoughts in my head. They always keep me entertained. I can create a whole world with them. This place is safe and nothing bad will happen here. Nothing good will happen either, though. God, I... It's so creepy that, like, I understand this so well. Like, just that line there. God. Mmm. I don't like it. I don't... It makes me... It makes me just fidgeting. <laughs> Me being here is a waste of time. I don't feel the void. I'm a part of it. This strips me of the last bit of hope for salvation. I shouldn't care. I should specify the the whole idea of like thinking in your head, the thoughts in there, creating stories, and the idea that you have control over it and not the certain, not this other part that she's talking about. It's empty here, and it makes me feel neither good nor bad. I mean, it also I just I see where she's uh, what she's thinking here and why but it's nobody's fault that I can't even see a door here. What's the point in having one? I feel like nobody is helping me. They should feel ashamed. I wouldn't want to admit it, but I'm all alone here. I can't do anything about it. So, is this because I... Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Uh, oh, shoot. Please note that we have a special offer right now. Four pieces of the price for two. Oh, God! I don't care that this place is empty. You hear? If I feel neither good nor bad. I'm all alone. My head is full of thoughts. They eclipse the world around me. Oh, shoot. The space is pretty cramped, but at least it's safe. Even though I'll never feel good here. Does that mean existing in a waste is a waste of time? I need to decide and my thoughts will help me. They'll lead me to the exit. I'll be able to feel proud of myself. I'll be able to save myself. 
at the same time, I don't really care anymore. This place is empty, but it makes me feel neither good nor bad. I am alone, but my head is full of thoughts, a world one might say. If I try hard enough, it'll be able to fill all the void around me. I am clenching still. No matter how much I keep thinking my surroundings are changed, yet something happened outside of my head, but what was it? There is not enough space for my thoughts. It's already filled with something else. Oh, that's reversed. I wonder what that's actually saying. If there's nothing around me, I'm still here. And my head is full of thoughts. If I try hard enough. So the world isn't empty after all. I can't see anything. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, hey! Session timeout, please reload the page. Okay, God. I'm sure. <laughs> oh, do I have to go through the whole thing? Okay, can I... Is there a way... So, I don't want to just quit the game. Can I really not... I've seen this. I've seen this game. I've seen this. I appreciate the hard work that was put into it, but also I've seen these credits already. Why can I not skip? Okay, so... God. So because of just grabbing the phone, she's... So, okay, so what did I technically do last time? Was, I mean, we saw the hands around the neck, right? And... I think that was Mother that did that, right? Considering the events that happened beforehand and the kind of just, like whole idea of it so because grabbing the phone and since the idea of like I she no longer talking to us right she's just, this is her source of trying not to feel alone or maybe this is how she used to cope before I don't know this game can be pretty confusing I will say but I still like it <laughs> It's like, it's it's very, there's a lot of it that's very much open to interpretation of how all of the different events occur. Okay, so this next one, I need to, okay, make sure I do not trigger the scene, so this part, and then don't collect the phone, and gather all of the, fa the, the cockroaches. Got it, okay. All right. So it doesn't matter what we say here. It doesn't matter. Okay, so... I go into the balcony? I mean, I... I would like to do that, but I kind of like how this is going, like, it's, like, kind of baby-stepping it, so we'll just do the baby steps real quick. I, only four should be the next one we do after this one, so we'll see. Um, so mound of pills. Also, the outside look different? That looks different. <laughs> okay, so that's that, and then dosage papers so this one okay and then laptop
Okay. And then sketchbooks, which is this one. Okay. Well, this part is a bit of a long part. Open your eyes, just do it. Come on. Okay, and then backpack. And then that should be good, as long as I just don't collect the phone. After doing a victory lap. So, that should be all of them, right? Yes. Okay. Push in the window. Changed a few times. Okay, so it has changed. One requires you to skip that scene. It is weird, right? That I guess that, that it takes such like precedence in her mind that no matter anything else you do, this just happens. All right. Anyway, so let's go ahead and see what this is. So you found all of them, I guess. I managed to gather my thoughts. Why not? Why? Okay, so let's stay here. So I need to make sure I do not go to the balcony. Okay. And yet. Okay, so, so far this is still the same. So I think it stays the same until she actually sleeps, right? right that like it this me talking to her and everything is like it's all inside her head right but just how like one little event just changes everything change between runs i do like that i do like the changing it makes you also think you're going crazy <laughs> she wears when she goes out. Okay. Ugh, another terrible morning. Boo. Why is my face always so stupid? I wonder what the others at school will think. Well, it's not that I care too much. I just want to be... I just don't want to be branded a loser on my first day. Cheer up. There's nothing wrong with looking different. That's not what defines you after all. Hey, hurry up. Yes, Mom. What? Oh! The terrible more I think you did! Boo, why is my face always so stupid? I wonder what the others at school will think. Well, it's not like I care too much. I just want to be branded. I just don't want to be branded loser on the first day. Sure, there's nothing wrong with looking different. That's not what defines you after all. Hey, hurry up. Yes, Mom. Another terrible morning, boo. Why is my face always so stupid? What the others would think? Boo, it's not like I hear too much. It's just like we brought in the news on the first day. Cheer up. There's nothing wrong with looking different. That's not what defines you after all. Hey, hurry up. Yes, mom. Oh, God. Oh, my God. You know what? I knew the all was coming. I knew it. God, this is reminding me of the... Oh, who's that manga artist with, like, the very creepy art and everything? Ito, something like that? Something Ito. Oh, I can't remember. Junji Ito, I think, or something like that. God. Oh, this is what they. Oh. 
Yeah, I, I think that's who it is. I think so. Boo, why is my face always so stupid? I wonder if they have this thing at school. I was not like I can do much. It's be better to lose for the first day. Cheer up, there's nothing wrong with looking different. That's not what to find you after all. Hey, here we go. Yes, mom. Well, how can it get worse? It got worse. <laughs> it actually got worse. Oh, that's a terrible morning, Boo. Why is my face always so stupid? It was the first day. Cheer up, this is wrong. It's just hurry up. Yes, mom. Another person in the mirror. With me. I don't know. There's nothing wrong with having another person, unless that's supposed to be me. Because if so, then that is actually really, really cool. I will actually. I like that a lot. That's actually supposed to be the other voice in her head. You know. You know. That would be very cool. That would be very cool. That's what that's supposed to be. That is creepy. I have to say that is actually probably the creepiest. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, it actually scared me. <laughs> oh, that was actually a good one. So what's interesting is that that one was caused by just collecting all of my thoughts, right? Maybe in a way it's kind of like. That's what that's kind of supposed to represent. Just all the thoughts and carrying and all jumbled up. And they just never, like, there's always something wrong with them. Even though, they're, like, they're not all bad. But I've made them bad. I don't know. Sheesh. Alright, I'm gonna close the game and then reopen it again. I'm gonna have to go through that whole thing. Uh-oh. Unless I just crashed the game. Nope. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. So, the next one we have to do is by not getting that cutscene, don't click the phone, don't collect all the fireflies. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay, that's gonna be interesting. Okay, English. Okay, interesting. And I have to go to the balcony. Oh. Okay, I have to do quite a bit for this one. So this one's like doing everything. Okay, continue. <laughs> what is weird though is why is it my dialogue piece of not knowing like why I don't understand what's going on in her head? Why is it that is what, she, unless she remembers that is what somebody else said to her maybe? Okay, so I need to make sure I don't try to find all the them. Okay, so... Okay, so let's trigger the laptop first. Look at my laptop, I've touched it for years. Why? Wonder if you tell me about it, I insist. You had amazing hobbies. Hmm. Okay, I imagined. Okay, okay. Okay, you'll end up returning to that subject anyway. Well, I wonder if someone digs up your hamster. Okay. 
That's all it says to get to this, but I swear we did this last time, but it's because I triggered the other scene. Gosh. Okay, let's start over. No, I'm not a fault here, so I had a friend, possible, they had a ton of them, um, pet shop, they don't get distracted. Just like me, really modeling, equally, right? Okay, get to the point. Of course, I knew that no group would exist. I'm a bit worried. Why? You know, the whole community is okay. Which friends is not really. What do you call them? Friends? I mean, everyone who shares my interests is my friend. I don't care whether they know what makes sense or not. Anyway, as I was saying, every program has its own algorithm and purpose is mathematical formula. And if you solve a formula, get to the predicted program behavior at any moment. Unless I fall. You need to follow me around, just listen. I was talking to a real person. Ah, oh, okay. I stood on the floor, the only thing reflected in this was in the face. What person is just a random picture, random words, okay, Keep the code. Hey, we know if you need a break. One day someone appeared, at a point there was no, at some point I let him trick me. Hey, look. So I can find one in the pocket. So it's coming and coming back. Continue to search and your story. Sorry. I'll finish my story, maybe. Do you promise? I promise, and if you forget, then remind me with the code word, for example. What code word? Think of one later, and for now, let's keep searching for my clarifies. Okay, so that seems to still be the... Oh, I see, because I didn't take her to the balcony. I see. Okay, so we need to get the other ones. Let's get this one. And... Okay. Okay, so that's sort of one there, and then the one back here. Let's go. Okay, so don't collect all of them. Okay, trigger the, that and then finish searching. Okay. So that's actually very specific that I have to specifically do not collect them. Which is weird. I would have thought that like I would have to do everything, right? Huh. Weird how specific you have to be for that. Managed K, okay, why not? Okay, so I think it's a good idea. Why? Okay, there's no way so I keep saying this one, so there's no way somebody cares about you that much. Just for a couple of minutes, okay? Okay, here we go. Hey! Hey guys! It's the thumbnail! My apartment building looks like a bottomless cooking pot, but instead of suit, it has hundreds of concrete and metal boxes on its walls. There are lights on in the windows. There are muffled voices coming from the inside. The howling wind spirals up and splits into hundreds of independent streams. Seems like it wants to be heard by every person living here. It must feel so lonely living in an endless silence. Probably building is pretty weird, isn't it? I could see the horizon from my window before, and the building grew for miles in both directions. I guess at some point it circled around and closed on itself. Nothing unusual about that. How do you feel? It definitely feels... I definitely feel sometimes that's more than enough. Still, you're anxious, aren't you? Of course, moreover, I'm completely terrified. Was it that obvious? You're looking in every direction, but not up. Ah, this. I already told you, haven't I? About what? Ah, uh, you know, small stuff. Can st small stuff make you terrified? It's hard to explain. I climb up the metal railing and let my legs hang down. I sneak short glances at the abyss from time to time. It replies with angry, cold breath. That's how we interact, like old friends. Sometimes I feel like the whole world pretends to be crazy. As if it's trying to make me believe in something that doesn't exist. It's weird, isn't it? Yes, but at the same time, it makes me feel a little bit happy. Everything around me was created for my sake. To deceive, trick, confuse me. If that's true, I guess I'm not so crazy myself after all. You believing in this stuff is the definition of craziness. Probably right. Another gust of wind blasts against the pot's wall, smashing the glass to dust and blowing away the concrete crust. I, on the other hand, hey, that rhymes. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got <laughs> 
on the other hand, feel a gentle breeze that only ruffles my hair. I still haven't come up with code word. You were the one to remember your promise. You don't need a code word anymore. I don't like when this happens. I want to remember certain thoughts only when I want to. Nonetheless, you made that promise. And I'll keep it, but you need to keep in mind that from this moment on, every word will bring me pain. I bend down and imagine falling into the abyss. I have exactly two minutes before I meet my end. She didn't actually... She... Oh, shoot. online, my best friend, even though the combination of letters he used instead of his name wasn't that cool. Well, the combination of pixels he had instead of his phone were also boring and unattractive. This is so strange and wrong, breaking the rules of being online. Why was he doing that? Maybe his code was a few lines short. I don't quite get what you mean. I could tell you about those rules. You can't find them anywhere, but I'm smart, so I figured them out myself. Although, I'm not sure if I should divulge them. Why? When I try to say what I think out loud, I tend to make mistakes. If I make just a single one, every if I make just a single one, everything that comes after contradicts my thoughts, and I end up with an opposite position. And I don't want that. According to that logic, it'd be better for you just to keep your mouth shut forever. Yeah, that's my dream. Keep my mouth shut. Never get up from bed. Never see or hear anything. Just dream on and on. Oh my. Why is everything so terrible? Don't get distracted. So, what was that about your friend? My friend? Ah, yes. He he was brazen enough to... Come on, gather your thoughts. He somehow made me believe that he was real. He kept describing someone else's life to me in detail as if it was him. Expecting me to do the same. And then I told him everything about myself without hiding a single thing. He gripped my teeth. The wind whips my face without mercy. It slices my skin into uneven stripes as if it's a piece of thin cloth. He knew more about me than anybody else in the world. You know what he did? Yes. <laughs> Sending an army of bots to harass me was probably fun. And what's most important, it was a win-win situation. They spawn here and there, simple bits of code that are effortless to run. No wonder the algorithm assigns that pattern more often than the others from the list. Text and video generators get to work at the same time. My name surfaces on the web more and more. It's unbearable. Unbearable. From around every corner, every balcony, ceiling, attic, wall, I always feel many pairs of watchful eyes directed at me. And now they watch me from the screens too. But I'll put an end to it. I decided a long time ago. Then maybe I only decided that only... My body finally crashes into the ground, smashing into millions of tiny pieces like porcelain. I'm cold. Let's go back inside. I returned to my room. Thankfully, it hasn't changed one bit during the minutes I was outside. Without a second thought, I go towards my laptop and yank the power cable from the outlet. That's it. That's it. That's it. What are you going to do? What's with this silly question? I'm going to sleep, of course. Hoping that tomorrow will only come after a year or a decade. I need myself to be outside of my mortal shell, but at the same time still being me. Ridiculous, like milk outside a bag of milk. And yet, and yet. You don't have to talk out loud for me to understand that you're worried about me. I know that already. I also know that our time is running short. You won't take another pill? Of course not. Never ever. Goodbye then. No. Small favor, a really, really small one. Why did I wait too much? Don't blame you. Was it really necessary? 
No, I won't be able to sleep like this. Was anyone there? What? I wake up lying on the cold floor in the center of a cramped room. I look around without standing up. There's no furniture, just naked walls and a single door. I can hear muffled sounds coming from the other side of it. Scary sounds. I hug my knees and wrap myself in my sweater like it's a blanket. It's no use. I'm chilled to the bone. The room is pretty spacious, but I still can't shake the feeling that I'm trapped inside a suffocating casket. The faint blue glow that sneaks into the keyhole only adds to that feeling. Do I want to know what's outside? As if on cue, an inhuman roar comes from the other side of the door. It becomes louder and louder, more and more distinct with every passing second. Somebody or something is getting closer. I curl into a ball, trying to take up as little space as possible. Maybe I can become invisible, and become smaller in some miraculous way. In the meantime, the howl becomes unbearably loud, but only for a moment. Then it sheepishly backs off, but I can't hear it anymore. I finally decide to stand up. After I do that, I hear another strange sound that's coming from right above me now. The ceiling moves upwards, squeaking, small debris falling on my head. I squint a little, then raise my hand, trying to touch the ceiling, but suddenly starts to rise quicker and instantly disappears into the darkness. I'm not in a casket anymore. Well, it wasn't exactly a casket now. It was a well in the form of a casket. The room becomes darker and colder. I'll have to do something at some point. Hours pass, I frantically run from one wall to another, delirious. The walls run from me, making the already spacious room even bigger. In the end, I stand in midst endless darkness, and only the door is watching me with its eye. I kept purposely avoiding it. I could sometimes hear a horrifying rustles and howls on the outside. However, now I don't even have a choice anymore. I slowly come to the door and reach out toward it. As expected, the door also moves away from me. I continue moving forward with my hand outstretched. I don't want to lose the only source of light in this pitch black darkness. At some point, I get tired of sneaking up on the door like it's some wild animal, so I lunge at it, trying to grab the handle, however. At the last moment, the door whizzes away and I fall to the cold floor, unable to keep my balance. It hurts. Stupid door, stupid nasty cursed door. I hate you. I hate you! I scream at the top of my lungs. I finally let out all the despair that I had bottled up. I slowly realize how horrible the situation I ended up in is. No, 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 no. I don't stop screaming for a moment because I'm scared to end up in complete silence. If the reality around me, around me disappears, my twisted imagination will take over, and the realest thing I have right now is my voice. Hey, I can hear you! A voice coming from the other side of the door. I'm here, come closer. I scream thrice as hard as before. I scream until my throat hurts, till my ears start buzzing. My biggest wish right now is to keep in touch with that person, whoever they are. Hey, where are you? I rush toward the door, stumbling on the way. I kept keep running for a minute for 10 minutes, but the door isn't even an inch closer. At the same time, the distance between us hasn't grown either, which means I match it in speed. I just need to make one final push. I gather the last bit of strength I have and push my legs off the ground. The jump feels like an eternity. I stretch out my hand, almost touching the scratchy wood. 
I dive face first into the ground with ridiculous speed. I slide at least 30 more feet like that thanks to inertia. Even behind a bloody trail. My hand is still outstretched trying to grab empty space. Uh, tears stream down my face making the numerous scratches burn. I try to wipe them, but I scream and yank my hand away the moment I touch my face. My lips and nose are now a mushy mess. Somebody help! The other side of the door is completely silent. The silence reigns for an excruciatingly long time. However, at some point, that silent torture ends. Hey, I can see you! I try to reply, but stifled whimpers come out of my throat instead of words. Are you hurt? Y yes, yes! stand up from my knee despite continuing to cry. I take a couple of deep breaths and start running again. I keep running for hours. I feel like the door is closer to me by an inch or two now. I almost let myself stop for rest at that thought. I can't rest. I'll catch up to it sooner or later. The voice from the other side of the door keeps asking me how I feel. I let out heavy, ragged breaths in reply. I'll fall from exhaustion if I utter even a single word. Still, I'm thankful for, to them and don't want them to become silent. After another hour passes, I barely scratch the handle with my nails. I'm almost there. I'm so scared. Why aren't you doing anything? I... Uh, why are they doing this to me? Don't they understand how painful this is for me? I'm almost there. You're scaring me. Go away. Rage fills my brain. I ignore the pain in my bones and channel all my strength into one final jump. No! Go away! I firmly grasp the handle and open the door. Blinding light hits my eyes. I lose the ground beneath my feet and start falling. I'm lying face down in grass. I smell water and earth, the dampness of the night. And grass, of course. The wind tickles the back of my head. It howls and jumps around restlessly. Lying down like this is unpleasant and rude when nature is so alive around me with sounds and pretty sure colors too. Stand up full of anticipation. See an endless field, a clear sky without a single star and a pale moon somewhere very, very far away. Shake my head and try to focus my eyes on anything but to no avail. My surroundings are just too vast. I feel dizzy. Pam. I'm lying in the thick wet grass again, but this time I'm looking at the darkness of a night sky instead of just darkness. Is there any real difference though? The wind howls, it's clearly upset, but what can I do about it? I hear an indiscernible echo coming from far away, a wolf or someone else. Does it even matter? I'm in the grass. Nobody can see me. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> it's back! The echo draws closer and closer. At some point, I realize that it's not a wolf. It's oh! I jump up and start turning my head in a panic. Where is that sound coming from? I haven't said that out loud, but I got an instant reply. Ooh. Hey, I can hear you. My voice runs across the field, mixing with the rustle of the grass and the howls of the wind. It feels like it's about to get absorbed by them. But... Ooh. Hey, where are you? Ooh. I can't understand where should I run to, and if I should run at all. Somebody clearly wants me to find and help them. Maybe they're hurt? The grass tickles my heels while I drag my feet in the direction where I think the sound is coming from. It's just, there's not a single tree or stone around, only an endlessly wide field. I hear a resounding, painful scream. I shut my eyes and cover my ears. I suddenly feel scared. The scream turned into a cry and I carefully raise my head, still scared to death. Somewhere very far away among the thick grass, I spot a silhouette, just a small black spot, but... Hey, I can see you! The silhouette doesn't move, but the sound is definitely coming from its direction. No, it's not a scream. More like a whisper or a wheeze. Ooh! Are you hurt? No reaction again, just muffled sounds. Maybe it's the wind going mad and the black spot is just a stone or a tree? I have no idea what's happening, by the way. I thought I knew and then it went away. 
I walk away disappointed 100 steps, 200 steps, then I turn around surprisingly the spot has become smaller. I start jogging, the grass is no longer tickling me, it's whipping my ankles leaving cuts. Feeling a pain and unexplained dread grow inside me, a stone, a tree, or the hell is this field endless? I don't turn around anymore, I know it's chasing me. The sounds reaching my ear become even stranger, louder and more distinct. The wind is bullying me too, huh? Isn't that right? That's the case, right? Finally I stop, I run out of breath, and I am at the brink of dying, at least I think so. Oh! Horrifying voice coming right from behind me, I turn around instinctively and for some reason try to shield my face but end up losing balance and falling to the ground. The grass replies with a nasty cackling rustle. What just happened? Oh! I've had enough. 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 That that the... I spring up. The silhouette is still there at the same distance as before. It's standing there without moving an inch. I'm scared here. You know? Why won't you do anything? The silhouette trembles and then starts slowly gliding toward me, followed by new sounds, wheezes, moans. Fear shackles me and I can only stand and watch the approaching black spot. My lips are parched, I speak in a voice I don't recognize. You're scaring me! Go away! After that, the spot expands rapidly, and in the blink of an eye, most of the sky and the fields is consumed by the sticky, cold darkness. Paralysis finally lets my body go, and I immediately sprint away. Ooh. I run so fast that the green turns to a dark green mush under my feet. I slip up, fall, run again. Ooh. No, 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 no. unknown force turns my head with a crunching sound and the darkness consumes everything. Oh. <laughs> I wake up on the cold floor in the center of a cramped room. I look around without standing up. There's no furniture, just naked walls. Oh. Well, I didn't understand that one, if I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I thought I did. I thought I was kind of, like, hinting at the whole idea with, you know, all that stuff and about like how everybody just like suddenly just probably shunned her and everything after learning about her personal life and just like wanted to stay away from her and she kept chasing them but just scaring them and all that kinds of stuff and maybe even her condition and all that but then i don't know what the heck it turned into later on <laughs> all right i got one more ending to do one more ending this one we have to not trigger the cutscene. Don't collect the phone, don't collect all the cockroaches, and don't go to the balcony. So literally all the don'ts. So I guess we'll see. Also, why is the game not being captured? There you go. Okay. Is somebody turning to a werewolf? <laughs> Okay. Okay, so we gotta go through all this again. So literally do you know oh it doesn't say anything about Oh it doesn't say anything about the laptop. I'm gonna assume I don't do the, the, the whole thing with the laptop and trying to get it. Why what am I talking about it? I insist. Hobbies. Mm. Okay, just say fine. So we got that one. Grab this one. And then grab this one. Okay, so I did all of that and that should literally be it. Just as long as I don't go to the, the, the balcony and then we got this last ending and then that will be it. Okay. God damn I accidentally clicked the other one. God, I... I accidentally clicked... Uh...
<laughs> I accidentally clicked the bottom one. Oh! 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 God. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Come on, get me to the thing. Continue. Okay. Okay. No more mistakes. Come on. Like, I've done so good this entire time, and then all of a sudden, I just I did terrible. Okay. No, no! <laughs> okay, so get the pill one. Let's draw. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da the match. Give me that. And then this one. All right. Got it all. Whoa. Get the one from in here. Whoa. Okay. Finish searching. And put my thing over here. Okay. Go to the balcony. Why? And then click the top one. Okay. All right. So let's go. Okay. I wonder if we'll actually, you know, she'll actually tell us what she wants to tell us. So I have no idea what it is. Okay. Unless that's what she's trying to tell us, is this part right here. Maybe it might be this part. Never mind, I think this might be- No, because she's- She still doesn't want to say something. See? So, yeah. Okay, here we go. So let's see what this is. I look down. Please make it stop. I wake up and immediately almost lose consciousness from horror. A thin metal stairway snakes around a giant column, disappearing into the darkness. I press myself into the cold wall and pray that I freeze into it. This feeling. I n know I've spent a couple of hours or days here, but I don't know how high the column is. I don't know whether I'm going up or down. Just like immediately, I lied, this is the worst. <laughs> a billion pounds of concrete and a million miles of emptiness. It's impossible to stay sane when you're near cosmic numbers like that. Looking at them, touching them, even thinking of them makes me feel an unimaginable horror. But it's just a matter of time before my short term here will end. My mind will melt and my body will turn to dust. The walls course surface scratches my face. The steps under my feet hum from the wind eager to escape the concrete's clutches and dive into the abyss along with me. But I'll stay here. I'll stay here without going anywhere. I won't even open my mouth. My every word will be swallowed up by the abyss. I won't take a single step. Why would I? To find out where the stairway abruptly ends? It's all meaningless. Time passed, but I'm still unmoving. My whole body is trembling, but then I realize it's the whole space around me that is trembling. I can't wait to destroy me. Maybe I should gather my will and at least turn my head. That thought doesn't stay in my head for long. It's torn out with inhuman force, unaware of what's go about to happen. I slowly turn my whole body with a squeak. No, this is not what I wanted. Don't! The silence sings a lonely colossus, unmoving, until the music stops. The bridge across the dark abyss cannot be seen. Oh, great! Fantastic! Oppressive, thick, sticky air drives itself into my ears, silencing my thoughts with a hazard string of words while I watch the scene of before me unfold. Hundreds of giant concrete structures just like mine spread in tidy rows endlessly in all directions. Stairways wrap around them like vines. 
there at the end of this world. There's a person smiling. This world still exists, but all that makes it both exist and not. I try to erect a mind block, but to no avail, my brain is already at the mercy of the super creature. A moment passes, and I realize that my body doesn't belong to me either anymore. My legs start moving on their own. The only thing I can do is choose a direction, up, down, or... The crowd notices blood on Wazuk's hands. He runs away. Mandel appears. He has nothing human about him apart from his excessive grace and hidden elegance. He walks out to the center of the stage. First act begins. Foreign thoughts become even more incoherent. There's less and less space for my own. Do you feel the connection to your body clearly, or does it still cause confusion and fear? You've been living through the fear a lot recently. How did it manifest exactly? Answer honestly. Don't hide anything. that something is wrong because your path has changed. Maybe you started talking in a wrong way or made some sort of mistake. If so, start getting used to your new life. Try creating imagining that would instill the feeling that everything is as it should be and with time, it will create a new order inside you. Also, it's imagery, not imagery. <laughs> I don't doubt that you're going through some hard times, but you have to make sacrifices. Grow up. Only then you'll be able to obtain the meaning of life. Do you get it? Try that if you find it important. Every passing day is a precious gift. You share a piece of that gift with the world even once, they'll seem like a speck of dust. Do you get it? No, I'm sorry. I won't get that then. Do you get it? Do you get it? Do you get it? Yes, even you get it. When you notice how people look at themselves in the mirror. When you look at your own reflection and realize that it exists in reality. Do you understand how exactly it exists? Alright, I was enjoying the music. and just take that away from me. That's fine. Alright. Well, I think that is actually uh it um yeah i think that's it um i <laughs> i thought i was confused earlier i am extremely confused <laughs> choice anxiety in the ways that you have to do something change something that everyone pretends is so easy okay yeah okay uh, okay so i i was thinking about that was actually what that was okay because she mentions that earlier too that she doesn't like multiple choices and it stresses her out and makes her cry and everything so and i guess maybe the whole choosing to descend instead of ascend is going back to hide within it instead of actually wanting to be better and everything so I still don't understand what the last one means, though. The last one, I don't... That one was a bit confusing to me. Because I, I guess especially here that we really didn't, like, do anything. We didn't really try to discover anything. That's why you would get this ending. So it's kind of like... Ma basically, instead of, like, pushing her one way or the other, you just literally just make her stuck. But... God... I really don't, I'm trying to think, like, I, I, I think the first part of it, I think I'm right about the whole idea that it's everybody that she used to have are, like, all of a sudden just shun her and wanted to go away and everything, but she doesn't want to lose them. The second part to that one, though, I don't understand the whole thing with the, the ooh guy and everything.
any positive outcome in this game. I mean, I feel like that's kind of like the whole point of this, is that... I, I hate to say it, but it feels like this character doesn't want to get help, right? It's that whole idea, if, if you don't want help, then nothing can be done. No matter how many times somebody else wants to help you and everything, it's, it's never going to happen. And as long as you yourself don't want help. And that's kind of what this feels like, is that... It's like she, it seems like she kind of wants it, but then at the same time, she doesn't. She tries to stay away from it, just ignores it, and just, instead just kind of falls deeper and deeper within it. Like, even to, like, the point where the other voice, like, it seems like in the other voice, you can actually push her to recall things and everything, and I don't know if that's necessarily helping her. Um, because at the end of the day, you are her thoughts, you are her, basically, so... Whatever you're saying or doing is something that she's already thinking, but considering all our dialogue options and everything, and it doesn't seem like she really wants to get out of this. Which is tough, right? Which is tough. It's like one of those that are like, mm, I push you to be better or anything. And I think that's what all these endings are trying to show you. Like, no matter what combination you do, no matter what you do, she's still stuck. And there's nothing that can be done. bad past events i mean like it shows right it shows that she did talk to somebody and instead of this person helping her they just mm, i i assume that event happened around the time like i don't know does she have this issue since the very beginning i don't know it kind of seems like it considering that her dad was still seemed to be alive around the time that um she was in the school and the way that she was acting and all that so she seems to have always had this uh problem the entire time um so i don't know when that conversation happened online and then that just made things even worse for her for her to hang on to i mean honestly i mean obviously it doesn't seem like she wants to die right she doesn't seem to have that impulse in a way you can say considering like most of the indies like she talks about it she talks about like where is she and what's happening and all that but she doesn't necessarily actually um show any actions of wanting to or any kind of idea that way like even even when she talks about the whole medicine she's like oh god if i didn't take my medicine i would have died would have died and it's like uh yeah <laughs> that's kind of idea so it's like hmm but so it doesn't really seem like that's kind of like the, the the whole thing is that she she doesn't necessarily want to stop but she also wants to get to a point where she doesn't have to rely on the other voice inside her head you the player she doesn't want to have to rely on you so she, it seems like that's her goal and like she has little baby steps to like, do that and pushing herself along so, I don't know. It's interesting, right? It's almost just kind of like a doom scenario, right? She's... And, and like I said, like, uh, if it is schizophrenia, which definitely does seem like it, there's really no cure for it. There is medicines like that, but it's no, like, hey, you're fixed now, nothing, you don't have it anymore kind of idea. But, um... It is interesting. It is interesting. Because that's honestly that's what it just feels like that no matter what you do no matter what happens it's still not going to go away so i mean honestly it's like i'm really getting into the i'm i don't have schizophrenia i don't know anybody that has schizophrenia at least that i'm aware of um so i can't really say like oh this is definitely portraying like the the, the what it's like to have it and um to deal with it within life and everything and with those around you but it seems like that's what's kind of trying to portray is that whole mindset of what does happen right if you have something uncurable that cannot be fixed like what do you do <laughs> 
Like, there is, there is, like, that is just going to be your life, even with the medicines, and even as, like, science continues to go on, like, and to try to help improve it, and, like, no matter how many different medications you take, maybe you hold out for that hope that maybe there'll finally be one, where it's like, oh, hey, I'm, I, I, I finally, I finally can actually, um, don't have some of these issues anymore. Maybe this medicine works a bit better for this effect instead of this one, or, like, whatever it is, right? Is I assume that's kind of like what each of them are for is kind of just like a different different medication to tackle a different problem. Um, and then obviously with the whole side effects too, which is very, very bad. It's one of the issues with schizophrenia is that it's very hard to judge what the side effects for a medication will be on a certain person because of schizophrenia. Ugh. I don't know. That's a that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Because, I mean, like, you see her way of life. Like, honestly, I'm gonna say, she doesn't seem like she's... How do I say this? <laughs> she doesn't seem like she's... Like, wanting to change things, right? That she wants other stuff. That she wants to go back to how things used to be. Or, or to change things. Like, she doesn't have any desire to. It's almost like, in a way, like, she's content with what's happening and just leave it be, right? I mean, other than the only thing is like, she wants more control of herself compared to the voice and not really needing the voice, but at the same time, she likes the company. So it's like, it's interesting. It's not like she's, I mean, I don't know, right? We've only really spent a day. So it's not like she's declining, but it's also not like she's improving, but she's not, she's not wanting to change and wanting to help improve herself with also the idea that she doesn't really seem to see a problem, right? Even she asks us, right, about her behavior and everything, she's like, should I be concerned about it? Like, she really, honestly, just seems fine with it, and with fine with how everything is. Which is weird, right? Which is very weird. And, like, I'm, I'm, cur I'm curious, too, like, is the milk actually milk? <laughs> I, I, it's obviously been something in my head this entire time. It's like, is she actually drinking milk? Is it not really milk? But what is better? I don't know how to make it better and everything. I'll just do other than give up. But I think that's the thing, right? Is that I don't think she's actually trying to make things better. Or honestly is even concerned with even thinking about that. It doesn't seem like it, right? It doesn't seem like she's concerned about it and actually wanting to get help or actively trying to look for ways or even trying to think of scenarios. She just honestly just seems content in being in her own kind of bubble. So, honestly, that's just kind of how she's shown to me, I guess, is that she's just kind of like, hmm. Like, I'm, I'm good with it. I'm content. She's like, I don't like medicines and, like, the, 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 the creatures. But at the same time, she's not really like, oh, I, I wish they would go away and never appear. Or I wish they would never be a thing or anything like that. She just seems completely like, okay, they're here for the day. All right, that's fine. Kind of idea. I don't know. It's, it's like, it's almost like a very interesting uh, character study, right? Where you have this person that has basically technically an uncurable disease where they are either they are neither improving nor getting worse maybe she might be getting worse but i really don't know like we said just really spent a day with her so i don't really know how bad it's been this is technically how it's always been um she's and she's not really concerned with it like she doesn't really want anything to change it's not like she's actively because like even if talking to the person online right it's not like she told them to try to get help or anything like that she just told them because she just wanted to build that connection i think that's the whole thing is that she wasn't being like oh i like i want you to help me and hear my problems out and like help help just try to guide me and see if you can make things better instead she was just like okay just I'll, I'll i'll you told me your story so i'll tell you your story kind of idea and like having that like connection that she has with us the player or the voice inside her head basically that kind of just like understanding and just somebody to talk to but not to improve but just rather just somebody who understands her kind of idea so i don't know 
I'm, my friends isn't really no family to talk to and to rely on. And she only has her own mind. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's weird. It's really it's really weird. Like I think the other ending too that's also pretty confusing to me is actually the first ending that we got. Right? It's like you could say like, oh, that's the dad, or it's from somebody else's point of view and stuff like that. It's like why though, right? Why would it be doing that one? Which the first cutscene, which is with the cutscene with the hands and everything. I don't know. Right? Like, why did that trigger the whole thing with the convenience store and everything? I don't know. It's it's weird. It's it's weird and it's interesting. It's something you gotta just kind of num 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 on for a while, right? I don't know. I'm gonna have to sit about this one for a minute. I don't really know. I mean, I like the game. Don't get me wrong. Just the game itself and everything. The sound. I wish there was more play on the the sound design. There was a lot more time design here than there was in the previous one which i actually really like a lot i just wish there was a few more kind of like that 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 feeling of like make me on edge make me hear those shadows make me hear like the whisperings and all that that she's hearing right and they make me hear all that stuff and really get into her mindset and everything like that, that i would i would say that was probably my only critique for this game is um that and also with having to not look for a guide and to get the other endings. Because honestly, I would have not thought there, there was other endings. I seriously would have not thought that there was any other endings besides this. I thought there was just different dialogue options just to change little things up. But I, did, I would have not thought that there was more endings. So that is a little bit of another thing where I've been, I would have been like, just play it once and be like, what the heck is happening? Um, but yeah, I'd say that's probably the only two things i really had an issue with um other than that i everything else was great i love the animation i like the art style to it i think it all works very very well to it i love that they have the animations for everything that's actually very very nice i like the recap at the middle the ending part like always being the same and always just staring back up into the endless void of oh kind of idea i like the different art styles for the, the different endings and everything thought that was very cool too I, I really and you very much see an improvement compared to the last game so I I I like that I like that I like the I like seeing it be better than the previous game and not just lengthwise and different choices and like different like having a point you click adventure and instead of a visual novel idea but I I I, I do like that they actually did like improve like some audio designs and um the music and the, the sound effects and all that stuff so that was that's pretty good that's pretty good that's pretty good so them i wanted to know what she was going to tell me oh uh, but anyway so that was milk outside a bag of 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 milk i need to sit down and think about this one i i really don't really know how to I, I feel like I've said, like, the only thing is that just come to mind at the moment about my interpretation to how some of these things, but I think I need to sit for a little bit on this one and think about it. Hmm. We'll see, maybe in the, uh, in, on the chatting stream, maybe I'll talk a little bit about this game. See if I had enough time to think about it, because, honestly, I'm curious. I'm curious. I'm curious if it is really that kind of, like, doom idea that it's just a doomed event and no matter what this will always just be the case like you're just another voice inside her head you can't really change anything only she can if she wishes to um yeah i don't know interesting be very old especially when you start seeing like a teenager she was taken out of school you know that's like is she, the clothing we saw her in right now is that her like sleepwear and so when she was having that one dream with her phone she's technically asleep instead of being out and about or is it like the wear that we were seeing in when she was getting ready for school and the cutscene area that was when she was younger but then considering the beginning cutscene we saw i assume it's like her outwear right and the wear she was wearing right now was just her uh, sleepwear i think 
Because that part was confusing me. I'm like, who are you? <laughs> uh, but yeah. Anyways, though. Anyways. Till the ending of what time fucks me. <laughs> uh, but anyways, though. That is going to be it for milk outside a bag of milk outside a bag of milk outside a bag of milk. Also, take another victory sip of... milk um because honestly another thing i need to analyze too is the the beginning part with the whole thing with mom and everything that was interesting especially don't drink milk hmm it is curious it is curious and then also making her recall the school event over and over and it seemed like we were either getting closer to the truth or we were getting further from the truth i don't know i, I would think it's closer to the truth right I mean, recall event over and over and over. Like you start to kind of remember a, events that occurred in which you first thought when you were first thinking of it. But then also you do have the thing where you start putting in like the own, your own things that you imagine as if you keep bringing it up because obviously your your mind just can't remember everything. So there's like some parts that don't make sense, but you think you remember it this way. And it's like, oh. Dream of the boy with a bunch of pearls in the first game. Yeah. I had, it had a ton of parallels. I, hmm. Especially they were considering that, like, you were, like, the parent kind of idea. Mm, I don't know. It was weird. It was interesting. Because, like, I can interpret that, like, it's a switch on roles. And this is what her father used to see. Or this is, like, what actually, kind of, in a way, you could just see where you're the voice in the head that's, like, older, right? More experienced and everything. And that's what she makes. From the girls game, yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, so. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Let's go ahead and switch it on over and close out this game. Alright. But anyways, God, my screen is so bright compared to the game. Oh. <laughs> oh. But anyways, though. That is going to be it for the end of milk outside a bag of milk outside a bag of milk bag bag mentally exhausted. Yep, I am too. I am very, very exhausted also from reading. <laughs> uh, but if there is more to come to this game, if there's more games that this developer makes about milk inside, outside, spilled all over, everywhere, into the dark abyss of all, oh, then... <laughs> Then I'll definitely be picking up those. But as of now, this is the last one in the entry. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see if there is more or anything. I don't know. I don't know if they are making more of this was just it. So we'll see what ends up happening, though. But anyways, though, that also does mean that we basically have another empty slot once again. There is a game I already do have in mind um, soon. It's kind of similar to this one in the whole thing format i guess is what i will say i won't say what it is just yet but we'll pick that game up next week and the same thing with persona 3 we will be picking up that game as well next week as well so yeah the expiration date is now <laughs> uh the end of the dream is more confusing but though uh but um also Saturday stream. Saturday stream is going to be a chatting stream, so a heads up about that one. Um, basically, we'll be sitting talking. I might talk a little bit about this game again if I gather more thoughts about it. Like I said, I'm still thinking about the whole events in the beginning with mom, and then whole convenience store and all that kinds of stuff. So we'll see. Uh, but I'll be over on Saturday and just sitting, chilling, talking. That's all that streams. Streams. That's all that stream gonna be. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I don't know what's wrong with my talk. Like, this entire week, I've been tripping over words often. I don't know why. I don't know what's been happening. It's fine. <laughs> um, and also, the schedule will be updated then and everything, so you'll see what the next week will look like. I think I say it's going to look normal, but I actually think it won't be normal. Um, Is it normal? I think don't think next week is going to be normal. I think next week in stream is going to be on a Sunday instead of a Saturday. I think. Don't don't quote me on that one just yet. We'll see when it's updated uh, then. But I do believe that the stream will be on a different day than 
usually like we do on Saturdays. So just a heads up on that. Uh, but yeah, so the Chinese stream will be this weekend. Good old times, good old talks and all that. Those of you a part of the Believer Believe Us, here's the membership. The community, uh, community post for you guys about the game that we'll be playing together on April will be going up sometime in the beginning of next week. So do keep an eye out for that. It'll be up for a while so you guys have a chance to vote upon which game you guys would like to play together uh, in April. But, uh, yeah, that should be about it that I'm thinking of. I'm tired. My brain hurts too much. Too many brain cells were having to work, which is too difficult. It was, they, my brain cell was not supposed to split into multiple brain cells, and they were on overload, but then they also fried a bit, so I gotta go dunk some milk in there. <laughs> gotta go cool them off, give them some good old milk, and see if that fixes it. <laughs> Anyways, so, though, stress won't be here doing a chatting stream. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. We'll always have a chatting stream every every month, so that's that's always good news. And hey, we're coming up to the third anniversary stream uh, pretty soon. I know I still haven't uploaded the thingy. I'll upload it soon. I keep saying that, but I keep forgetting. But I will upload it soon. If you don't know what I'm talking about, basically the event that we'll be doing that will be special for this anniversary, anniversary stream will be, uh, you guys will be helping me make uh, basically a bracelet. And you guys will be able to participate too. I just need to send a picture of it so you guys can see it and see just what kind of stuff is in it and all that so you guys can get something similar uh, if you wish to. But yeah, I need to remember to do that. And yeah. So anyway, so that's coming up soon. That's not till May though. That's not till like the end of May. So don't worry. We still a bit, I say, but like it's coming. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Problem is that she didn't buy milk. Yep, exactly. That's the problem. But that actually is I think that is actually the truth in the end of um in the end of that that ending there. You might I you're actually right about that one. I do believe that is the problem. She didn't buy the milk. Ooh. But anyway, so let me go and say thank you to those that were recently here. So thank you, Fox Knight, for being here. Thank you, Sunny Day Jinx. Thank you, Killer was here. Thank you. One. And that is actually as far back as I can see. And thank you, Grapefruit Gobbler, as well. Thank you guys so very much for joining in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to those that were previously here beforehand. Thank you to any lurkers. And thank you to my mods as well. Thank you guys so very much for helping. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And also, thank you to those that are part of the membership for Culture Roach. Thank you to those that are part of the... Just helping out. <laughs> just helping out with playing these random games and having a good time finding some special gems in there and everything. So, thank you guys so very much for your help in that. I do appreciate it. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. But also, thank you to those that are part of the Tier 3 membership or believe us being the Master, Pastor, Nathan Citron, EH, and Jackson Fox. Thank you guys so much for helping out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will see you guys next time. Try not to, you know... Cry over some spill milk, even though I did that earlier, which I'm sad about. And be very careful of Sorry, I just saw an O. <laughs> I actually did see an O and I just started staring at it. I'm tired. <laughs> My milk of a fellow fire roaches. God, you guys evolved into fire roaches? Oh no. <laughs> oh god, what happened? No. <laughs> uh, bye. <laughs>